Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please about your friends and let us enjoy our time watching the drama of the corruption in the world. Uh, you know, like every day when I see the news, you get surprised about how stupid a human being is and how everything in this earth is awkward. Uh, I saw in the news that uh, Andrew uh, Tate uh, they took his toys, the Romanian government, I think because uh, uh, the accusation or the investigation have, uh, uh, you know, gang money related drugs, maybe, or money laundry, something like that. Because usually they take your asset uh, if there is something involved money. Uh, but I mean, this is normal to happen. I feel sorry for Tate now. I mean, his toys is gone. I mean, imagine you are a person who could keep talking about your toys, your toys, your toys. And then suddenly, not only you are in jail, even your toys, somebody is taking them away. Now, this man who is a pimp, and he converted to Islam. And yesterday, actually, I was speaking, I was speaking to a lady, if you remember, the lady she called me yesterday, and she said, I didn't understand why he converted. I said to her, he is seeking protection. Do you remember? Just yesterday. He is seeking protection. He knew what's coming. Uh, this man is evil. He knew that if things go to worse, at least he can find a place where he can take refuge in instead of spending his life in jail. And this is why now we see in the news uh, this woman, and it's very funny. I mean, look who is defending this guy. This woman, she is a beauty queen. She go, she go naked, and she is in contact with Taliban. Samira Khan. We are hosting a Twitter space with the Afghan Taliban to discuss the demand of the Andrew Tate. They are worried about Andrew Tate. They are asking us if he is free or not. And you know. Listen, listen, Taliban, they are asking Samira. You know what I mean? Because Samira, she have all the connection for anyone need. She knew the government, she can speak to anyone. In fact, if I am Samira, I can do even more. I mean, Samira, she have a skills which nobody have and me myself, I don't have. Taliban is connecting Samira. Well, I mean, they got a point. Samira is the one to connect. Samira is a very legitimate Muslim and she is a real, real, real Muslim, Samira, you know. And put yourself in the shoes of Taliban. Just put yourself in the shoes of Taliban. Aren't you going to connect Samira immediately? Hmm? If I am a Taliban and I'm very Muslim religious, the first one in the world I will connect is Samira. And I will ask her, hey, Samira, how are you doing? Can you open the camera for us? How is uh, Andrew? Yeah, no, open the camera because we cannot really, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we cannot understand you without the camera. Okay, can, okay, Samira. Yes, yes, Samira. Can you put the camera down to the left, to the right? Okay, there. Stop there, Samira. Okay, now tell us what's happening to Andrew Tate. Is he free? So a woman like this, how in the world she is speaking to Taliban? Man, well, it's all over the news. I know this is her Twitter. This is her official Twitter. You know, I don't know she is posting this. Uh, who is who is connecting? Who is not connecting? I don't know what's happening. But you know, this is how awkward what's happening in this earth is. And me myself, if I was Taliban, I would connect to Samira right away. But you know, I don't think Samira will talk to me. But first, I'm not uh, handsome, uh, and I don't have money, and uh, you know I don't like to beat women. Obviously, those women they like to be beaten. Uh, you know, there is a lot of people who they are really sick, and they enjoy it. By the way, I mean, yeah, this is true. There is some women they like that, and there is some men they love that. Uh, but obviously, this person he present or he present, 
a very filthy uh, culture, which is an Islamic culture. Uh, uh, somebody saying Taliban in America, Muslim Brotherhood uh, Madrasa is in America also now. Well, my friend, as I know, uh, when you allow any Muslim school, what Muslim school will teach? They will teach what Muslim teach. So in the in the in the front they will say you know Islam is peace etc. They close the door and then they will teach different story. There is a uh, there is a documentary is done by the English TV station secretly recording Muslim uh, 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 mosque and schools. It's called Dispatch. And the Muslims, they launch a huge attack on the BBC or that TV station, whatever it's called name, uh, to take it off from the internet. If you can't get the, the dispatch, watch it and see what they teach in their school. But in the front of the public, they will never say that. So when a Muslim only alone, sitting, no camera is allowed, then you go and watch and see what they will teach in the school. It's not a joke. This is the most evil, disgusting religion ever. And... It's not a secret, you know. And you know, me, uh, Ali Dawa, a piece upon her, she made a video and she's saying, we should not judge. We should not rush, rush to uh, brothers and sisters. We should not rush to judge. If somebody is a bad person, he come to you with the bad news. Don't believe him. I mean, the guy is entering now. His website is running. His business is running. His web camera is running. And now the Muslims are saying, you should check, you should check. You see, I mean, what? unbelievable. Uh, now, what will happen, you know, we don't know really exactly what will happen, but I am assuming that this guy with his money, there's only one way is going to end, like not for, good for him, if the one or those women who they are involved in these crimes, they are involved American women. If those women who they are involved are from the east of Europe. This man, he will bribe the judge. He will bribe even the victims. Money talk, my friend. Money can talk. And now he is asking his ex-girlfriends to speak out about how good he is and for sure he will pay them a lot of money. Everything is about money. There's nothing for free. You know, those are hookers. Those are hookers. And when a hooker is a hooker, she is a hooker. You know, what you expect? Do you expect, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like decency, uh, you know, money. They do, they take off their panty for the sake of money. So then they will do what money uh, tell them to do. Uh, okay. I, I'm, I'm just seeing a tweet from Samira Khan. I like this tweet, by the way. Samira Khan, study showed that poor, stressed out men prefer fat women like Ashley G Graham. <laughs> I mean, do you see guys the scientific studies? Scientific studies, you know, this is, say, this is scientific study. All right. And I'm not going to show you the pictures underneath because she is showing naked women. So this is a very decent woman. And she is defending Andrew, Andrew, uh, Andrew Tate. Taliban is stopping up to defend Andrew Tate. Muhammad Hijab, Ali Dawa, the Muslims around the world. Andrew Tate is a very good person. You know, so what if he opened a pimp house? First of all, it's not against Islam to open a pimp house. And the proof in the Quran. And in the in the page of her, uh, Hatun, if you go to her page, you will find there's a video, it's called, it sounds like it's okay to be a pimp, between three Muslim discussion. Go watch it. So, uh, th this is why some people don't understand why the Muslims are defending this guy. Islam is a very low, 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 low ethic cult. We can't even call it a religion. As you see, the Mohammedan, they see this man who is a pimp, they see him as a righteous man. Actually, he is the most righteous man between them ever. This is why all the Muslims are supporting him with no even a question. Should we support or not? You know? Uh, this 
this uh, woman, Samira Khan, she presents herself as she is anti-woke journalist, feminist, defender, mimetic, warfare, strategic. Uh, no, she is calling somebody else. All right. And then she posts in pictures. But then you ask yourself, I mean, how those people, they join together forces? I mean, what is the, what they share together? This woman, she go naked for pictures. She is a beauty, beauty queen, supposedly, but all her body is a, is a, you know, is injection. The lips is fake. The nose is fake. The eyes is fake. The ass is fake. May Allah bless her ass. Uh, and then she is defending someone he beat women. And she think, and she claim, that by saying, by supporting him, that is an anti-woke. Well, we are Christians and we are not from the woke culture and we will never approve any man to beat a woman. And we will not support anyone, he is a pimp. So how this pimp, he become a person to speak for women right or men right or is to speak against any group i mean he is a pimp legally officially and he even himself he call himself a pimp peace be upon him you know when you are a pimp peace upon you and you have tons of girls working for you as sex slaves peace upon you and then uh, uh here there's a post that says what they have already detained him and now they want to silence his fan. She is his fan. You know? She is his fan. You know, and rotate, I think he touch her nipples and the fan will turn on. Because she is a fan, electric fan. You know, those are the electric fan. Why you are his fan? Do you like to be beaten? What about you go and go visit him and let us see if you like to be hit by Andrew Tate as long as you support what he say. Why you don't stay at home? The guy, he said, you should not drive. Stay home. Do you stay home? Do you drive? Why are you posting your pictures? Aren't you a Muslim? So, you know, they are awkward, pervert, and, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 zero shame. It's literally zero shame culture. The news is free because they need needed to control you. Deep. But isn't it, this is the guy, he is doing it free news all over. Isn't it the one he himself, he was getting paid for the news? Listen, isn't it, this is the same guy who used to be paid in TikTok? A lot of money. Because, you know, TikTok, when you have a huge number of subscribers, you make money. It's not, it's not just, you know, going, making, you know, this is, this is why you see women showing their butt and showing their ass, getting naked in, in TikTok, because the more subscribers they get, the more money they make. So this guy now is talking about what? About uh, the news is a free because they need to control, they need it to control you. So if the news, we pay for it, that's mean they do not need to control us. And why you are getting paid for what you say? You know, I'm really upset, actually. We have some people here in, from Romania, I see in the chat. I'm really upset from the Romanian people, not the, not the government. The Romanian people. How in the world Romania become a nest for such a bunch of a scumbag? Why they allow such a thing to happen in their country? Isn't it a shameful for you to have such a person? You know, when this man, he said, I moved to Romania because there it's easier to avoid rape charge. charge. Isn't it, this is a big insult for Romanian and this is enough reason to deport him immediately? You know what I mean? If somebody said, I moved to Christian Prince's house because in his house I can rape. How I allow such a person to stay there for one day? Where was the Romanian government? Where was the Romanian people? 
This man now is giving reputation to Romania that Romania become a pimp house. A nest of pimps. And now, even though I'm not there, and by the way, we don't want to talk about Romanian in a bad way. I'm just telling them what I feel. I met many Romanian, they are wonderful people, and there is many of them, they are religious, but obviously there's a lot of corruption. He moved to Romania because he knew that there he can bribe. He can bribe the police. In fact, uh, uh, I think two of his assistants, they used to be a police officers. But you know what? I have to be honest with you. After I saw how the police officers they look there, I'm going to G join the police force in Romania. Uh, where is the the police officer who worked for? Yeah, I think this is the one. Let us see. Uh, hold on. I'm just looking for, you know, for the... She is an ex-police officer. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where is the, where is the the post I, I saw it in the other day I mean what happened I think I'm uh, searching for the wrong title yeah here we go here we go Omar Rabbi Omar I mean all the Muslim now they will say mashallah mashallah so this is the uh, uh, you know the uh, the ex police officer who she quit her job as a police officer you know she quit her job as a police officer. This is New York Post in the front of me in the screen. New York Post. Okay. And here is, let me show you. Give me a second. Yeah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Amar Rabbi Aman. Amar Rabbi Aman. What I can say, what I can say. All right. So this is the ex-police officer. I will put her on the screen for a second. Just you can, you get an idea. So this is the assistant who helped him in his pimp business. She is an ex-police officer. And this is why this guy, he have a lot of information from the police before his arrest. She is an ex-police officer, which means she have a lot of connection and for sure, when you have those breasts, I mean, you have all the connection you can imagine with the police. Uh, so he recruited her and she worked for him. She quit the job. And now she is making some hot uh, recipe, you know, like for Christmas time. As an example here says, I want to chat with you. Tell me, tell you my secret and show and realistically hot videos that will blow your mind. Um, I don't know if this will blow the mind or something else. Subscribe to my page. Get your Christmas gift. I mean, they are all conservative, and those people are really, you know. Yeah, she is a big ex police officer. Yeah, and I'm not going to show you the pictures because then you guys are going to click there and you will leave the, the broadcast. I know what will happen. Okay, so we will stop here. So. This man, he entered into Romania and he started expanding his arms with his money everywhere. The government is corrupt. The police is corrupt. 
the judge is corrupt. So he knew with his money, he can be always safe. And now I don't trust really anything, any process will happen there. Because imagine if you are a policeman in Romania or a judge, and this guy, he offered you $2 million to hide the evidence or destroy it. What they would do? You know what I mean? What they would do? This is why he said he want to go there. What if you offer $10 million? Or what he offer a hundred million dollar to let him go free? Don't you think a hundred million dollar will make him free? He have more hundreds millions, maybe three, I don't know, he have 300, 400, I'm not sure. He will give out, he will give 200 million dollars. And he will become free and they will say, we apologize, it was a mistake, it was wrong, you did not do anything, it was our fault, our mistake. And you know, what with the, with the corrupto, uh, uh, what they call it, this uh, virtual uh, money, you can get paid easy and nobody will know. Nobody will know. Not like all days they have to pay cash. It's just a, you know, little account in the internet and he transferred the money for you and the money is yours. So, uh, we will see what will happen. The only scenario which this man will be trapped for a long time if the victims include women who they are not from the east of Europe. If the victims, all of them from the east of Europe, including Romania, he will bribe even the victims. He will bribe the police, the judge. The victims will drop their, their charges. The, the victims will drop their charges. And then all the human trafficking and rape is gone. Now, what is left is money laundry. He might go to jail maybe for a year or two for that, and he will pay fine, or they will take aside some of his property and his income, and he will go free. But I could not, and I were not expecting that things will move fast. You know, when I said yesterday, when this lady Farah, she asked me yesterday, the ex-Muslim, why he converted, I says he is seeking uh, protection. He knew what is coming. And this ex-police woman, I'm sure she have connection, and they told her they will tip her, you know, money, you know. Please, if you know anything happening, just tell us, okay? We will give you. So what do you think money will do? Money will do a lot of things. If I have, if I am a, a mafia guy and I have a, somebody work in the police station and they are going to come to check my house to find if I have something wrong or not, it take one little call from outside of the station, not even from his cell phone, say, listen, they are coming to you. Hide it or get out. And this is how all those mafia, they function. They buy the police first. The first one they buy is the police. This is why this guy is so comfortable. Is very comfortable in what he do. This guy, even he put bags full of money on the table in the front of a live camera. He's not even worried about anything to happen to him. Nobody will question him. Nobody will come to his house. Nobody will attack him. Not only that, we just heard that even he have uh, a, a security guard with guns because he registered his property as a shooting uh, field. Can you believe it? His property, which is a house, is recorded for sure by the help of the police. I mean, how the police, they allow someone, he is a resident who live in a, in a residential area to register his house as a shooting place, shooting ranch. How you can do that? Money. We know what money can do. 
in corrupt countries and corrupt government. This is why if you are rich, if you live in corrupt country, you will live like a king because nobody can touch you. It doesn't matter what you do. And uh, this guy, he opened a university in his house. Okay, what is the university? It teaching you how to fight. But there's not a single video of him teaching anyone how to fight. Those men, they are coming to have sex in cameras. They are doing porn. So he have everything licensed. Look, the same place is a shooting ranch. It's, it's a house. Will they release him in 30 days? He might release him maybe tomorrow. You never know. Money can talk, my friend. Money, money, money. Money. And this guy, I assure you, for his freedom, he is willing to give $200 million. For $200 million, you can buy the president in Ukraine. And sorry, in, in, uh, in Romania. The president himself will retire, will give, him, will give the job to, uh, to, uh, to Andrew Tate. He will say, you know what? I will give you my job. Just give me the $200 million. The only way that this guy will stay in jail, if he could not bribe the victims, which is hard to believe, because those are poor people, you know, and they will be intimidated and they will threat them. He can pay 200 million, he or he have at least 350, 400 million dollars. You know, if you are a rich person who have hundreds of millions of dollars, aren't you willing to pay 80% of your money to get out? from a crime you might stay because of it for the coming 20 years you will you will without even hesitation he will make more money don't worry his business will be running uh, Uh, here we go, we have a Romanian, uh, Laxo, saying, uh, I am Romanian and I, you know, and you can buy a lot of, with 100 euro. I bet with 1 million you can buy a, uh, buy a country. But you know, no, I all I want to say all Romanian are the same and the proof is you. Uh, I believe there's a lot of Romanian in the country, they are wonderful. I was in Romania, I met a lot of Romanian. I saw there is in Romania there's a scammers and there's wonderful people. So I hope that the one is in charge of the case, they are the good ones, not the corrupt one. Because, you know, all what it take is a, a group who agree to, to for a bribe. You know what I mean? If they agree for the bribe, then he, they can bribe them. But if nobody, if one of them, he don't agree for the bribe, nobody will dare to accept the bribe. Uh, the one who want to call in Skype, please don't call me now because simply right now I am not, uh, my Skype is not open. I'm not taking calls. So uh, because of the money he have and because of how much money he have, I doubt that he will stay in, in jail for long. I mean, even in America, even if you commit a bigger crime and you have such a money, it's going to be very hard to keep you in jail. Rich people, they are always above the law. Poor people, they stay in jail forever. But I'm hoping that the one who is in charge will not compromise and will not sell himself to the devil as many people they do. And now I am sure that this man, he will ask the women, the same exact women who they are supposedly the victims, to speak about how good he is because he will intimidate them and he will promise them money. So why those women, they want to risk their life with such a criminal 
and why they will refuse the money, what they will get from him being arrested. Right? What they will get from that? Nothing. Nothing. And now this guy he have, look, I mean, look, look at the one who worked with him. Look at the one who worked with him and look at my admins. Unbelievable. I'm going to change my admins. I'm going to contact her, uh, you know, ask her if she can join me to be an admin. And, you know, like uh, if I can convince her to come here and she published this in the top of her profile, I want to chat with you and tell you my secret, show you unrealistic hot videos that will blow your mind. I mean, you will not even listen to Christian Prince. Right? This, those are his assistant, right? Those are the assistant. Yeah, and now the, the female admin, they will shoot me, by the way. I mean, look at them. They're angry now. No, no, I don't mean it. I don't mean it in a bad way. Don't take it this way. I'm just uh, being sarcastic, sarcastic, okay? Remember, I'm not Andrew, Andrew Tate. So, uh, money will, will take a role. And uh, the only uh, the only issue I see, it can be difficult for him if really what they say in the news is true, that there is some American women are involved and the American embassy is behind the case now. And actually, I'm surprised uh, that, uh, you know, this guy, he's always, I mean, this guy, he go in live on air, he record himself. He carry, you know, a big uh, uh, case of uh, cash. But don't the Romanian government ask themselves, why in the world anyone he carries such a cash? You see, cash, cash, the only reason to carry it like this, if you are going to go and do exchange, exchange of a product cannot accept a trust, which mean, give me by hand, I give you by hand. You know what I mean? Cash is not normal for business. Actually, cash is not even legal for business. Unless you are buying like a cigarette or, you know, if you are paying $1,000, you don't pay cash. Because then the person you are paying him, he can avoid being taxed. Uh, so when he show all this money with him, why it is there? This guy, he don't even hide it. He is, he's bragging about it, you know? He sit in the table. He have uh, uh, millions of dollars around him. And, uh, you know, he, he bury him with money. And nobody's asking why even the cash is there. And if somebody want to say it took them a lot to investigate, to check, I doubt that this is the case. I believe they knew about him very well. But again, because he is protected by the money, the money was able to push all accusation against him far away. And now you will see Truck Carlson from Fox News defending him. There's a lot of a scam back we have in the media and USA. So it's very funny that Taliban Taliban, peace be upon them. And Truck Carson, they will join forces together to defend Tate. You know what I mean? It's very funny, isn't it? Let us see. If you go and search in the news, you will find tons of... Uh, of news saying Taliban are so worried about uh, Tate and they are defending Tate and they love Tate and they like Tate and Tate is a wonderful person and he is a brother in Islam and mashallah and inshallah and Andrew Tate he posted uh, uh, in his tweet saying inshallah we will overcome this And this is why he converted to Islam, because he knew he needed protection. He knew what is coming. This women who work with him, two women, who they are ex-police officers, 
they are getting all the tips about what's going and what the investigation is about. I don't believe even that when they come to arrest him, as they claim, that he is not aware. I don't think so. I think he knew very well. And But because he knew, if he even to try to go, where he is going to go, they will get him at the end. So he decided to stay and hide as much evidence he can, and then he will he will work the magic of money, right? Lloyd D. Jong is an expert on Islamic history and terminology. I would love to see you discuss the meaning of key is Muslim terms and the root of therapeutic system. No, my friend, I don't like such a discussion. I find such a discussion, with my respect to the person you mentioned his name, I do not know him. Uh, I believe it's a waste of time and it's even stupid. Because do we need even to discuss their politics? <laughs> Until now we do not know their politics. <laughs> Until now we do not know that this is a gang. What politics? <laughs> We need to discuss their politics. Islam is a very small, uh, uh, you know, idea as we are a gang, we gang together, we share the booties, we conquer, we share the booties, we control government, we control the asset, we control the money, and we dominate, and we share the booties with Muslims only. Non-Muslims are our slaves. So what history and what uh, terminology and what, why we need to do that? After all what we saw and what we see every day, we need to study their terminology. Don't we have enough of studying? Isn't it clear? When somebody, he live in the West and he is even born from a Western family and then he agree with such a scumbag that women should stay home. Women, they should not go to school. Women, they should not drive. This is telling you that your new generation is going to be a generation of a scumbag. Not a generation of educated people because, you know, our schools is zero. I mean, you go to school. This is, this is the fruit of the liberals, by the way. The liberals, they took everything ethical from the schools. And now we have zero ethic between the kids. And because they have zero ethic, they don't see a pimp as a pimp. They see him as a hero. They see sex working is a good job. This is the truth. They taught their children and your children that to do porn is fine. To be a prostitute is good. Change your gender is the best. People are confused if they are boys and girls. And then this guy, he come, and then he is going to correct all of this, and supposedly he is the philosopher who correct them. So he says same, some stuff, which is true, in order to control the mind of the young ones and deceive them. We are against this uh, stupid uh, liberal cultures, all of us. But if somebody said something is truthful in a conversation full of poison, we will not forget that the rest of it is poison. And when you see, when time come, that there is people who they are, uh, agreeing with Taliban. People agree with Taliban. This is telling you how stupid this uh, society is and how bad the situation is. They fight and they fought against the Bible. You know, they don't want Bible in a hotel. They don't want Bible in a school. They don't want the word God anywhere. And now what we got, because they have a vacancy, you know, 
they got Taliban and Andrew Tate taking over the brain of their children. And you get what you ask for. You get what you ask for. You know, for me, I don't believe in something called women right or men right. I believe that there is a human right. All of us, we are human. A little, little piece between, between your legs doesn't make you a different human. Doesn't elevate you, it doesn't make you less. So we don't want to be stupid and speak about women right. We want to speak about right for all human. And as long as we agree that women is a, it's, it's, you know, actually, when God created Adam, he called Adam and Eve, called them Adam. He did not even call Adam as Adam, as a man only. Adam is the human, which is Adam and Eve. So we don't want to make, uh, you know, children right, uh, women right, men right, as they do in the commercial, like the father day, the mother day, it's just for commercial, so the people buy and be stupid. There's no such a thing. Right should be granted for everybody because we are the one who preserve our right. This is our right. When somebody is disrespect a woman, he disrespect his mother. He disrespect his sister, his daughter, his wife. And if you are willing to do that, you are a scumbag. And then those women, they have the right to disrespect you too because you are a scumbag. If you don't respect them, why they shall respect you? Respect is not given to a gender. Respect is given to someone who deserves respect. So if the woman she deserves respect, we respect her. If the man he deserves respect, we respect him. If they don't, we will not. Have nothing to do with their gender. Promoting the idea of gender right is a stupid thing, actually. Because this is what those people, they jump in the middle to play the game. Oh, they are, we are separating the society now. This is what Islam does. You know, a, a society of women and society of men, and they are totally separated, and they are totally different level, and the responsibility is totally different. But all of us, we knew that it, responsibility differences does not change the fact that she is a human and I am a human and we complete each other the man cannot be exist without the women can can the man be exist no he cannot so if you don't respect the women to be exist and to be uh, uh, like uh, uh, a human being like you well you are not even exist without her go here we go what what about this guy tate he live in a in a society have no women just get rid of them this is come back you remind me of muhammad muhammad he said the most people of hell are women and then what he have he have 13 of them at home they are wives and hundreds of them they are sex slaves and the top of that, he promised the Muslims that each one of them at least will have 72 women to F. So how women, they are the most evil, the most disgusting, and then they are the biggest reward. How you can be the Satan himself, and then you are the biggest reward to the man. Do you understand the stupidity of this man, Muhammad? Uh, admin, anyone who insults Sam Shamoon, block him and ban him. Anyone who insults, and please, Sam, don't respond to those people. Sam, don't. Don't respond to those people. No need. Anyone insults Sam in the chat, whoever he is, even if he's an admin, you block him immediately. All right? Never allow anyone, if you don't like Sam Shamu, don't come here. His shoes is better than your face.
those potatoes, they never defend the faith. They never have a video to defend the faith. They never debated anyone. They never did anything good. And they complain about Sam Shamoon. Well, his shoes is better than your face. You like him, you don't like him, who care? It's okay, Sam. You know, we have a topic now. Just give me give me some time. Maybe we can take him later. Uh, you know, and this is actually a, a topic. You know, people, they come and they complain. Oh, this guy is aggressive. He speak language is not nice. Don't go to his channel. You go to his house. You sit in his lap. And you do be dancing and you complain. Don't go there. As long as you are a case-sensitive person, why you go to listen to him? And then they, they chase the person, like you go to different page, they go after him, like, like cats. Ho, ho, ho. You know? Those people, they have like, a, you know, a obsession. <laughs> you don't like him, don't go to his, <laughs> don't go to his channel. <laughs> and you know, me, myself, I will not argue with Sam Shaman in his channel because he will block me. I know him, he's like, you know, he, he have, he's a hot of blooded, you know, so why you do that? You know, you know him how he is. So they play with the guy what they should not play with, and then they complain because the guy eat them alive. Okay, you deserve it. Anyway, going back to our topic. Uh, actually, uh, one of them, he made a comment, and the other day he says, I told Sam Shamoon, Christian Prince, about a change in the language he speak. This is not a Christian way. So I told him, go and do 1% of what Sam Shamoon he does, and then I will believe you that you are Christian. Just 1%. Not 20, not 50, not 60, not 70. And this is my, by the way, I agree with everything Sam Shamoon he said. He don't need to agree with me. But I appreciate the work of a man who is devoted and he is passionate and he loved the Lord from his heart. You agree with him or not, you should appreciate that he stand up when everybody sit down. Everybody go to sleep. Anyway. <clears throat> uh... Let us go back to uh, let us cool down the the you know the issue here, and uh, you know because we, we we became like now upset and upset you know and very upset and too much upset. So okay, here we go. So we have a promotion for today for those who support Andra Tate. Uh, this is an old promotion by the way, but I heard she is going to expand it. All right. So she wants to chat with you, even though she is in jail right now. I wonder how many police officers they want to chat with her too now, you know? Uh, what God willing mean? Which God? The Muslim mean when they say God willing, inshallah? Well, the Muslim when they say inshallah, it's just a way to throw, the like to shovel your dirt in someone else. So you don't want to do the job. The second you see a Muslim saying, inshallah, it's mean he will not do it. If you go to somebody, he borrow money from you in the Middle East, and he said to you, inshallah, we'll pay you tomorrow, that's mean tomorrow will never come. Uh, you know, Sam, please take it easy, man. What, what's, uh, what's going on? Why are you, why you are so upset? Easy, easy, easy. Admin, watch the chat carefully, please. People will use those anger issues to, to take down our page. Admins, anyone who attacks Sam Shamoon just to block him. No, I will not make him an admin because then Sam Shamoon will block everybody, including me. Don't mess with this guy. <laughs> take it easy relax relax hey, yeah take it easy don't be you know don't let them take you down man i mean they are trashy people don't let them take you down be the wise man 
who will laugh at what they say. If somebody says something about you, why I wanna even, I laugh. What people say about me, crazy stuff, I laugh. I will not even be, I will tell you a story once. Once in Paltok, I went to a chat room and there is supposedly a woman, she is a Christian. And you know, those people, they are jealous because everybody go to my room, nobody go to their room. They open 24 hours a day, the week. And then there is like, they have 10, 20. I open my chat room right away, I have 200 people in five minutes. So the woman, she said, Christian Prince, I heard or somebody, was somebody, somebody was saying, not me, somebody was saying that you are, uh, you like women. And I told them, no way. So I took the microphone, I said, I don't know who is the stupid you to defend me. Yes, I like women. Is that a problem? They thought I would say, no, please, I don't like women. Who said that? You know, <laughs> yeah, I like women. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Thank God I don't like men. So people are stupid. They get jealous from you, you know, and they try to get into your nerve. And if you are a person who don't laugh at them, they feel good. This is the whole point. They feel good that they are making you, you know, angry. If they see you relax and you don't care, they are the one who will sleep in their belly. So just let them, let them with their drama and you laugh. Yeah, yeah, I heard that you, you know, somebody said, somebody, it's not her, somebody said that like you women. I like women, record me, what's, what's wrong with that? I am a single, I like women. Any, have, anyone have a problem? What do you want me to like, Santa Claus? So they thought I would say, no, no way. Who said that? Please, no way. What are you talking about? All right. All right, take it easy. So anyway, as you see, we have Elisha here. Elisha, I don't know her name, I like to say it correctly. And she is, uh, she have an offer for everybody. All right. She can teach you a lot of skills and she can take a lot of stress and she is the assistance of Andrew Tate, peace be upon him. Uh, and by the way, Muslims, why Andrew Tate did not convert this girl to Islam? I mean, she is halfway there. Look, the bra is showing, you know, taken off. I mean, what is missing? How come he was able to convert himself to Islam, but the team is not converting yet? Shouldn't he convert all the company? Shouldn't he do da'wah? What about in his business, the web camera, we put Quran behind every naked girl. Or another suggestion, like what about we play Quran when the women, she is naked in the camera and doing their business. This way, the customers, they come, they listen to the Quran and they cannot resist two things, the naked girl and the naked Allah. Think about it, it's just a plan, you know? Uh, I hope you will take it seriously because that will be good. You know, you t you call yourself, uh, I don't know. Uh, here we go. This is about this person. The Christian Slayer. Abdul, we saw you in Taliban. 2,000 Marines controlled the country. The American in the last four years, they have 2,000 Marine and there's 140,000 Taliban. You sly who, you idiot. We are in Qatar, we are in Saudi Arabia, we are in Bahrain, every single, even Turkey, even Erdogan is a potato. Every single Muslim country, they have our bases, the Marines. Do you know what the Marines do? Who serve in the army? The first thing they do before they do anything, they pray to Jesus. So you slay who and you are, you are just a Abdul. Abdul means a slave. And a slave, he cannot be a free man. He cannot be someone, for he is a slave. We are the children of God. You are a slave of Allah. You are a slave of Taliban. You are a slave of sex. You are a slave of your private part. You are a slave of your dreams, which is obsessed of sex. A pervert like Muhammad, who promised you endless penis, 
cannot make you a man. He just made you a penis because if the penis is endless, are you endless too? You will say no. That's mean you are not even one to a billion of the size of your penis. Therefore, that 99.9999999 of you is a penis. You are not even a man. When you accept such a promise that you will have endless penis, you become so small with big penis because your penis is way bigger than you. This is the truth. And because this is a very awkward religion, low class, trash religion, you will find that all the Mohammedan, they agree with such a scumbag like Andrew Tate. And how, can you believe it? They are even defending the guy. Even now they are confirmed that still he is running his business as a pimp. Like, you know, I might say, okay, the guy, maybe now he repent, he closed his website, he is not doing the pimping business no more, maybe. But even now, it's confirmed that he have running business, the cameras never stop. It's still the Mohammedan, they are defending him, and now Taliban, they want to save him. Aman, Rabbi Aman, we are going to send you Taliban. Taliban, brother, Taliban. Taliban, you know, and look who is defending uh, uh, under and, and uh, a woman. She go naked, showing her uh, body, and uh, she is against the woke culture. But isn't it the woke culture encourage women to show their panties? Guys, what's wrong with those people? Do they have a brain? So she is against the woke culture, but she is the first to volunteer to show her panties and her asses. How that can be? You are in the middle of it and you are promoting it. No, those are not lips. Those are vacuum machines. What, what's wrong with you, you know, Andrew? Andrew, you get it wrong. Those are not lips. Those are vacuum machine. All right? Yeah, too much uh, 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 potex, you know? Yeah. Peace be upon her. And she can, you know, she is now the one who can fight the culture. And, you know, I mean, look, look who is talking. Look, look in this earth now who is the one who have a voice. Everything is upside down. She is a very conservative woman. She is supporting conservatism by showing her bum. After we finish this program today, I'm going to subscribe just behind the scene. I don't want to tell you, you know. Let me do it now because I don't want to see that. That would be an embarrassing thing. And then you guys, you will know what, like, what I like, you know. Yeah. So we are hosting. What? We are hosting what? We are hosting a Twitter space with Afghan Taliban. Hey, by the way, what you will do with Afghan Taliban in that space? Are you going to play the Bacha Bazi? Hmm? Because if those guys, they get aroused for a Bacha Bazi boy, imagine what will happen when they see Samira Khan, peace be upon her. Peace be upon her, pom, bum, bum. Unbelievable. Very, very, you know. Oh boy. Samira Khan. Okay, hold on. I'm looking at pictures, I'm not going to show you, okay? First of all, it's not suitable for you to see those things. It's suitable for me, just to let you know, okay? Uh, yeah, okay, that's a nice picture. No, no, this is too much. Okay, move, move, move. Okay, no, no, we cannot show this one. Oh boy, no way, no, 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 no. 
What the heck is that? What's okay? You know what? Okay, I will I will watch Samira Khan pictures alone later later. Okay, because uh, I like conservative pictures, and uh, I respect. I mean, you have to respect those kind of uh, pictures. I mean, we have to be honest here. You know, you have to show a lot of respect. You know, they show too much skin. You show respect. You cannot. Like they can be short with the clothes, but you cannot be short with this respect. We have to put it clear and make it clear. You know, whatever people they say about, you know, you know, this is a statement. They say things, but you know, the truth is the truth at the end of the day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that, uh, you know, the thing, and you know the thing. So, you know, if somebody, he say, you know, he said a thing, so don't, you know, listen to the thing. Okay. For Allah is all things knowing. Okay. And as long as Allah is all things knowing, that's mean he know the thing. And, you know, that's it. We know the thing. And all of us, we know everything. And thank you very much. You know, imagine if after two months or three months of the police investigation of Andrew Tate, the police, they have in their report that we find that there's nothing in the thing. When we went to the thing in the house of thing, we check everything and we found there's nothing in the thing therefore as long as there's nothing in the thing and we discover nothing to think about therefore the judge he ordered to release him and you know the thing the guy he have a lot of money and he is a very decent man and all those stories was a false accusation first of all those who say he is a pimp they are liars he have a pump business not pimp they heard him wrong he don't do pimp business this is was pumping business as an example women they come to him they ask him can we borrow from you ten thousand dollars we want to do pump our breast and rotate he says sure i will give you a mortgage in return to open your camera and do business pay me back through your uh, uh, you know the pump machine so those who saw those things or they say those things about this man they are not decent and they are a bunch of liars secondly those who say he was arrested they are liars too this is fake news those are two friends of him but because they are camera shy they are wearing a mask which is very normal yes it says police in the romanian language however this is mean something else in different language here it says we are fake acting i remember when the news came the muslim they start saying no he's out actually me myself i believe them you know and they post a video of uh, carson speaking to him i thought this is a video because they posted today i thought oh the guy is out already i mean man after after 45 minutes it turned to be this is from the last august so <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, this is all his rumors, and this guy is a very decent man. And people, they speak about you against you because you are very famous and because you are a Muslim, and they are jealous. All right? So, uh, at the end of the day, he's a wonderful person. It's a stage. I know it's a stage. I mean, isn't it the Muslim believe in destiny? So, it's a stage. <laughs> you know, actually... The destiny here can solve a lot of a problem. As long as the Muhammadan they believe in destiny, that everything by the destiny of Allah. That means if it is a stage, it is staged by Allah. Are you getting me? My idea, I mean. As long as it's a destiny and it is a stage, that means it was a stage by Allah. And to make it more funny, look what the what Muhammad he said. Isn't it Muhammad, he said, that when a person he do adultery, this is a destiny too? It's a stage. Everything is a stage in Islam. Everything is a stage. Allah has decreed for the children of Adam. It's a decree. It's not a choice. It's a destiny. 
his share of adultery. So now, based on this, we understand that when this man, he opened a pimp business, he was staged by Allah. Allah, he framed him. It's not the opposite. He is a victim of Allah. And the proof in front of you, it is a decreed, it has decreed for the children of Adam, the share in adultery. He, which means every one of you, will get, it will get it by all means. All means, the share you will get. Adultery of eyes, looking, adultery of tongue, speaking the prophet he used. By the way, the prophet, according to the hadith, he used to suck Aisha tongue. And yet the people, they say this is a French case. When in reality, the first one who have a copyright over it is a prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, police be upon him. Right? Bro, if you uh, had in on Andrin Andre Tate, at least getting it, how many bodies you got for real? I don't know what does that mean. Guys, can somebody translate for me what this Muhammadan is saying? What, what the heck is that? I don't know. My English is not really good. I need your help. Can you elaborate, Mr. Uh, Bella? Bella Balaya? Look what he said. Bro, UTF, is that a dirty word? UTF? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. You are speaking the language of Allah. You hating, hating on Android Tate, at least he is getting how many buddies you got for real? What the heck does that mean? I feel like I'm reading Quran. Let me open Ibn Kathir to understand what you meant. Okay, I just opened Ibn Kathir. It says, Allah knows best what Balaya Tataya he said, or he meant. What the heck is that, man? What buddies? Who care how many buddies he have? Here we go. I have 100,000 subscribers. Does it mean they are my buddies now? Are you stupid or what? Are you stupid mental? What buddies? Ah, uh, he's speaking filthy language. Yeah, well, you know, you know them from their languages too. Yeah, you know, your mom, she was a good mother for sure. You know, she taught you how to speak good language. I'm sure she's proud of you. I mean, you say the F word right and left. Like, hey, mom, hello? What the F? Yes, you want to go to the grocery? What the F? Okay, and what do you want me to do? Why? What the F? And then she said to your son, what the F I got? He's talking about sex? Ah, okay, how you know what, how good I am or not? Man, <laughs> my friend, I have the power the same as a prophet Solomon. Prophet Solomon, he have sex with 90, 99 women in one night. Hmm. Brother, I mean, you Muslims are really weird. Solomon, brother, he decided to have sex with all those women. And then he forgot to say, inshallah. The poor guy was doing boom, boom all night. 100 women. Non stop. And he sweat. And he, etc. He meant girls. Why I need all those girls? Are you pervert? Are you a dog? You are stupid. He mean girls? You're mental. A man, a real man, he will not follow his penis. The man who go carrying his penis around, he is just a penis. I'm a man. You are a penis. So the one who is proud about his penis, that means he have nothing to be proud about except his penis. So Mr. Penis, peace be upon you. Now you deserve to belong to Andre Tate because he liked you too. Obviously you are his fan too. Not only girls his fan, you like him too. Do you like him? Be honest. Okay, I will not tell you to you. I will not tell your mom. What happened in Las Vegas? I stay in Las Vegas. All right. What an idiot.
when a person he is a male and he find this man is his uh, like the best uh, uh, person to uh, uh, to appreciate that's mean you don't have what he have this is the whole story so you are asking me what I have that's mean you I don't have it not me I don't appreciate him I find him stupid but because you are dreaming to be like him which means you dream to be a pig you know you dream literally to be a pig you put your head in the mud and you claim to be clean you wear an expensive clothing and you drive expensive car and you think that will cleanse you and that will make you a respectable man in fact you're still a scumbag a pimp what you expect from a you will not be able to wash this name from your history even after a billion year you are a pimp can you say I'm lying can you find me one person he have little honor he will even shake hands with the pimp nobody would do that so when you follow him you must be a pimp like him or maybe one of his boys anyway I understand your frustration for us we are relaxed I mean by the way if you go to jail and you visit him you can buy some baklava for him he will pay you for it I feel really bad for him I mean the new year Eve instead of spending his time with all the females you are saying he have the turn to be now he have nobody what if he stay in the coming 20 years in jail he will be the female of how many people Hmm? Who is going to be his female in heaven, which is jail? <laughs> anyway, uh, disgusting. And you know, when a human being he loses his honor, and now he make a role model for him, a pimp. That is telling you how low this a human being is. Literally. You know, this is why uh, I advise male and female. You know, when you, uh, let us say you want to get married and you met a woman or you met a guy and he sound like a good person for you. You need to go and involve with this person in real discussion. Don't go and say, hey, what the music you like? Oh, I like this music. Me too. Okay, what food you like? Oh, I like hummus. I like hummus too. Okay, let us get married. You will notice that most of people, when they do have a relationship before marriage, they spend their time just flirting with it. You are so beautiful. You are so handsome. I go crazy when I don't see you. Me too. You know what? I dream about you. Me too. Okay, well, uh, do you like uh, this music? Me too. Okay. What about the food? Do you like this food? Me too. Okay. So as long as we are me too, me too, 100%, let us get married too. We get married too, a few weeks after we are fighting. Because they never asked each other a real question or a real topic. So ask her a real topic. Do you support such a guy? Let us see what she will say. Ask him a real topic because then you will know what kind of a husband you will have. If he is a person who support such a person like Andrew Tate to the TT. You know what TT in the Philippine? You know, when I was in the Philippines by mistake, I don't know what the word mean. So I have somebody, uh, you know, a visitor and I ask, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, where I was, there's an office. I asked him, where is my TT? And the girls, they said to me, sir, don't say that, sir, don't say that. I said, what's wrong? I just said, where is my TT? I said, sir, don't say it again. It turned to be TT, mean a penis. And this is Andrew TT. All of him is just a penis. Yeah, and like when they told me that one of the girls she came to me and she whispered, she what you are whispering? What what? What? No. You must be kidding. Okay, you know what? Forget about the tea. 
We don't want tea no more. <laughs> yeah, you know, like uh, you learn things. You learn. Like, this is why you have to be careful when you speak in different in, in, in language in different language. Look like in the Philippines, there are certain words. If you repeat it twice, they turn to be something else. So don't repeat it twice. All right. Like even in the Philippines, in, in, in Indonesia, they say orang, orang, orang. You know, like orang is people, orang, orang, too many people. You agree with my car drive? <laughs> no, actually, I, 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 I don't agree with you, Esho. Uh, when I was in Singapore, the one who was driving me around is a female. And I never saw a woman or a man, he can drive like this woman. So you are wrong. She was able to park the car between two cars without even, there's no space. She is very good in driving. So, you know, we go in the highway and we drive and we see how many idiot men or women, doesn't matter. So you are wrong. Yeah, you are wrong, my friend. Yeah, actually, I mean, my surprise, I was surprised. I don't think I can park the car the, say, the way she parked it, you know. I mean, she put the car between two cars as if she is placed it with her hand. Me, myself, I have to hit the first car in front of me and the car behind me. And then I go I open the door and I look. Oh, I did not hit this car. Let me hit it so I can park the car too. You know? By the way, I'm the best uh, of the drivers. Okay? In my country. But at that time, there was nobody have a car except me. Uh, <clears throat> true story. The same as Allah is the best of the creators. Hey, by the way, Muslims, is Andrew Tate is the best of pimps? Uh, just a question. I'm being curious now. Because Allah, I thought he is the best in everything. And as long as he is the one who destiny, make a destiny for this guy to be a pimp. So who is the best pimp? Who is the one who promised you a lot of women? There is no cameras there, by the way. It is in the front of you. 72. You see, Andrew Tate, he have 75 women work in web cameras according to the report. Allah will give you the lowest reward. 72 women. Hmm. Uh, will uh, Mr. PPT, this is not kidding, this is stupid of you to say. One more time you say such a stupid thing, I will block you. Do we have any Mohammedan have a comment about supporting? Who is a Muslim here? He support Andrew Tate. Peace be upon him. Any Muslim here, he support him? Anyone? Who is a Muslim here is a proud, like beside Ali Dawa. And by the way, I watched a, a little bit of Ali Dawa uh, video about Andrew Tate, and I was surprised that Ali Dawa is a promoting dating website. <laughs> I mean, I, I have nothing against such a thing. I mean, it's okay, but promoting a dating website, I mean, why you do that? Those guys are collecting donations. Don't you have enough? And now he know, but brothers and sisters, if you are looking for your half match, this website, brother, can find your half match. And I was laughing when he said half match because half or four. A Muslim looking for his half match? Since when? I thought you, 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 you'd like to have four. Brothers and sisters, if you are looking for your half match and you don't know what to find your half match, you go to this website, brother. It's a very good website, okay? And then the drink is there and click in it. And they pay him money to make an advertising. Yeah, the, the video there, go watch it. I'm not making things up. Go. The last video he made about uh, about uh, uh, Andrew TT. You know? Yeah. You want to find your life in half match? Okay, go there. And remember, I'm not talking about, about uh, you know, people going to, maybe, you know, somebody want to find somebody, why not? I mean, yeah, maybe you have difficulty to meet with the right person. 
uh, as long as it's not used for uh, wrong thing, it's okay. But you are supposedly a person doing da'wah for Allah. And Mimi Hijab is selling the seeds, Nagla seed. Brothers and sisters, this is Nagla seed. The Prophet of Allah, he said, buy it here, order it here. <laughs> when the last time I said, order my books? <laughs> I guess I'm not good in marketing. Unbelievable. Okay, let me open my Skype. Let me open my Skype. So we can see if we can get lucky. In case there is any Muslim on a call and defend uh, TT. Peace be upon him. Okay. Let us see. Hey, Sam, how are you? Brother, I'm okay. I'm not upset. When I attack people, it's actually fun. But hold on, let me block your... Uh, okay. I'm on your seat. Uh, I don't want people... To... Yeah, I. the reason why I contact you, uh, because there is a Christian who became Muslim. Now he's a Christian. Okay. He's He's going to come live and he's going to uh, confess why he made a mistake because he was featured on the Dean show. Okay. And so now there's this woman who's upset. Uh, she's not, you know, he's in one country, she's in another country. I guess she liked him and she was thinking maybe he's a re-virtual Miriam. When she found out he became Christian, she's now losing her mind. She's contacted me on WhatsApp. She's telling me there's this Muslim scholar in Lebanon who's going to debate me, but he doesn't speak English. So I'm going to debate this guy. I don't speak Arabic. Let him come, no so, problem. I will speak to him in Arabic, but we will translate. Yeah, because you you spank him because he's Arabic. He, th I guess he's supposed no mercy. To be, yeah, I promise Lebanon. you, no mercy. Shish yeah. kebab, hummus. Yeah, I'm waiting for. I keep telling her, and I said, listen, Bint Muta, give me his Skype so I can have him come on. Yeah, and but delaying. don't uh, don't mention uh, Christian Prince. Just say no. Nope. You know. I didn't mention no. No, I don't. Because uh, you put fear in Allah. Allah, when he sees you, he runs. So I so I don't want them to run. No, tell, you know, just tell them this guy, he is, he have no, if they ask you what his name, tell them he have no idea. Okay, you got it. That, so hopefully I'm waiting. If he doesn't show up, I'll then have you, I'll give you his uh, Skype, maybe later call because he thinks he's a scholar and he leads Christians to Islam. He's okay. from that. Okay, brother. All right. Thank By you. the way, thank you. I thank you for your advice. You're right. But I enjoy when I insult people. That's why I need to repent. Pray for me, CP. All right. Please. All right. Yeah, but you know, for me, I know that this, those people, this is what they are doing. They're trying to uh, aggravate you, like, you know, to make you angry. Yeah. And this is their joy, you know. Oh. Just relax, let you laugh at them, block them, and that's it, you know. I will have some shish kebab with some uh, with yeah, Turkish. I mean, who cares? They say, you see, the, the tree which has no fruits in it, nobody throw rocks at it. You got it. Yeah. You are one handsome, gorgeous lion. Arr! Okay, brother. Oh, <laughs> God bless you. Take care. Yeah, all right. Uh, let us see. Do we have any Mohammedan? Any Muhammad that would like to join us? We have a person, his name is Khalid. Let us see Mr. Khalid. <coughs> uh, we are calling. And he is not answering. When I retired, you will take over. You have to wait maybe 30, 70 years, man. I'm still 17. What are you talking about? What retire? My mom, my mom is, you know, uh, is 18. What retired? What are you talking about?
You keep waiting, my friend. What retired? Okay, Mr. Khalid is calling again. Don't call me Khalid, I will call you. Okay, let's see. Can an ex-Muslim call? No problem. If the ex-Muslim have something important to say, uh, this guy is not answering, so maybe we should block him because he is not answering. Okay. Okay. Let us see this person here. We are just calling the Muslims, see if they will answer or not. Maybe they are just playing games, you know. They asked me to call, but they don't answer. And this why we mute the speaker so it doesn't bother you with the ringing. Okay, this one is not answering. We will block. Um, anyone else? Do we have any real Muslim? Hey, hi there. If you want to bash Tate together, give me a call. No, I don't want to bash him. No, I'm just making fun of this guy. He's an idiot. We do not need to bash him. He bashed himself already. This is the last person we need to bash. He is the bash itself. If I call you and you don't answer, I will block you. Just to let you know. All right. Any Mohammedan? And by the way, some of you, they keep saying, uh, like, you know, you got 100,000 subscribers. Uh, in fact, in fact, you notice that YouTube is not increasing our numbers, it frees the numbers. So YouTube is playing games, you know. There's no way the numbers stay the same forever, like two days, three days, four days. It's impossible. Each time we go live, we will get at least 100, 200 subscribers. Hello? Uh, I uh, wanted to call you uh, in New Year because you talked uh, to a lot of Christians. And um, so I uh, wanted to call you All right. to thank you for your work. Okay. Because uh, I made a concordance uh, for um, Muslims. And I this this is always uh, with me and on the streets. If uh, um, this is on my phone, and all the points you mentioned, I um, talk to the Muslims and they can't answer. So uh, the topic from yesterday you uh, mentioned was about uh, Muhammad, uh, who is uh, and um, all his companions who had, who are homosexual. Yeah. So I wanted to call you uh, about this point. It was very important for me. Uh, you mentioned was uh, that uh, Jibril came in form uh, down under, and it was Dikhya Al Kalbi, uh, the homosexual friend of Muhammad. <laughs> yeah, well, Dikhya Al Kalbi, you know, uh, uh, we cannot say, you know, I mean, uh, we didn't know what the relationship between them, but Muhammad, uh, he always spent a lot of time with him. And when he said that uh, the angel come to him in the image of the Hil Kalbi, uh, that is a very suspicious, you know, because why the angel would take an image of someone is in town and he is the most handsome young man in the town, you know. So that is very suspicious and it doesn't make any sense except maybe something wrong. Anyway, my friend. Uh, as you see, we are asking Muslims to call us. Anything else you want to say? Yes, I know, brother. I know, brother. I just wanted to thank you because um, um, I it took me uh, at least uh, for about 
three or two, uh, three or four days. I uh, watched all your videos three years ago, and um, I made made a concordance uh, for about um, um, lies about Islam. Uh, I think 105 points, all the points you mentioned, mm -hmm. and then I wrote it down, and and it's always on my phone. And I get it out, and uh, if Muslims uh, has always uh, questions and they are laughing, I get my smartphone out, and uh, I thank God that uh, you do this work, so I can, uh, yes, I get them busted, and uh, sometimes on the street they are shouting and uh, arguing, uh, and they are white. But um, this is a great uh, job, and I pray for you right, that okay. you... Thank you very much for your call. God bless you. Yes. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye. Uh, do we have any Muhammadan have anything to say? I know I have I have a feeling I want to read Quran. I feel dry, my spirit is dry. My spirit, because the Quran is a spiritual book, you know. Uh, but I'm not sure what verse in the Quran uh, I will read. You know, I need to look for something very spiritual. Any any advice? And you know, my heart feels like a dry, dry. So I need to find something really touching. The inside of you. Let me see. I will find. Um, okay. Okay, I found something can touch the inner of you. The deep inner of you, you know. Uh, and I think this will help a lot of us today in his spirituality struggle. I hope you will like it. Prophet of Allah, the wise prophet and his God Allah, he said, there is no restriction on the blind, nor restrictions on the lame, nor any restriction on the sick, nor yourself to eat from your whole house. Brother, I feel now I'm free. Thanks to Allah, finally, I feel free. Prophet Muhammad, he free me. He free the blind. He free the lame. He free me, free you. You can eat in your houses. The God, the Almighty, he went to his office and he said to himself, I'm going to send Muhammad something very special today. Something so good. Something so wise, never been said before. Never happened before. Listen carefully. This has touched your stomach. Aren't you hungry? I am hungry. There's no restrictions on the blind. Hey, blind before, where do you used to eat, brother? I don't know. They don't eat in their houses? Hmm. No restrictions in the lame, the one who cannot walk. Where he eat? I think at the time of Muhammad, they used to have McDonald's and nobody at home. She said she tried to call me. What is her name? The one who tried to call me. Who is the one who tried to call me? Maybe she is calling the wrong number because nobody here. <sighs> Always I needed some wisdom to start my daily with. And now I found the wisdom. I can eat in my house. You know how much money you spend if you cannot eat in your house? Before this day, I used to go to the house of the neighbors and sneak to their kitchen because it's not lawful, it was haram to eat in my house. 
But now, thanks to Allah, He is helping us. Sweetheart Angel, the name? Well, my friend, I think she is calling the old number of Arabian Prophet, maybe. So she should call the number or mean the Skype, which we are using now. Maybe the admin can pause for you my Skype. And then the Allah, with his wisdom, he continues saying, or in the house of your fathers. Man, that's love. Or the house of your mothers. Things is getting more complicated. Or the house of your brothers. It sounds like a corporation. Like uh, uh, eat whatever you want. I mean, just tell them eat whatever you want, man. What about you say eat wherever you like? What that this drama is about? This is God talking and this is the Quran. They say to us, nobody can make Quran like it. Any Muslim here? This is the Quran which nobody can make like it. Okay, you know what? I'm going just to change one word. You can do poo poo. There's no restriction on the blind, no restriction in the lame, no restriction on the sick, nor yourself to eat in your house, to sorry, to poop in your house. Or the house of your father, you can poop. Or the house of your mothers, you can poop. Or the house of your brother, you can poop. Or the house of your sister, you can absolutely poop. Or the house of your father, brother, man, the poop is extending. Or the houses of your father, sister, the poop will never stop. And stop our poop. Or the house of your mother, brother, man, it's getting complicated. Or the, what the heck is that? This is God? Words? Muslims. This is God words. Don't you think this is too much godly words? I mean, how much time took Allah to think about this? It sounds like Andrew Tate. Sorry, I did not say peace be upon him. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What the heck is that? And then the things is getting even more complicated or the house of your mother brothers, or the house of your mother sisters, or who of you hold the keys. Very spiritual. Never give your key to a Muslim. Never, ever give your key to a Muslim. If you want to sell your house, never hire a Muslim real estate agent. He will go right away and eat what you have in your fridge the quran says so any house you have the key of it bingo hmm? and based on this if i have the keys of the bank i can take the money i can eat the money i have the keys i have the key if i, if I work in mcdonald i have the keys you know i mean just give the keys for a muslim you got meal you got robbed. He ate the food. The restaurant is totally empty. Do we have any Mohammedan? And those who they are texting me in Skype, my friend, I want Muslims to call me. We said only there is someone, she said she's an ex-Muslim, she want to talk to me, I will let her talk. But not everybody. All right? Do we have any Mohammedan? What the heck is that? That's so beautiful. This is so spiritual and so complicated. You know, I, I sometimes ask myself, why those famous writers did not learn how to write novels from Allah? You know, the Muslim, they say, that there is a guy, his name is George Bernard Shaw. He said in one of his books, which nobody can ever find, that if a prophet of Allah Muhammad was exist in the world today, which means his time, he can solve all the problems in the world while he is drinking his coffee in the morning. This is what Bernard Shaw said. George Bernard Shaw himself said, 
but we cannot find the book. We cannot even find any page say such a thing. In fact, it says the opposite. The Muslims, they are the fastest conversion religion. Anyone he die, after he died, they fabricate a story about what he said. After I die, trust me, the Muslim, they make an article that Christian Prince in his last day, he put, he gave a finger to Allah and he said shahada. And don't forget to ask them, did he convert because he saw the chapter 24, verse number 61, about you can eat or poo, poo in the house of your father or your house? Hmm. Any Muhammadan? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I want to convert, you know. I don't know. I feel sometimes like, to be honest with you, like I'm irritated. I want to like have a lot of those women, man. I mean, one in the right, one in the left, one doing massage to my feet. I mean, uh, and, and then uh, you can imagine all the headache you will have in your life. You know, some people, they think that those people when they speak about having many women or uh, abusing women, their life will be good. You will live like a piece of garbage. I advise all men in the world, take my advice. Never abuse a woman. She can kill you. Literally. Especially if she is in your house. Little drop in your tea, you are bye-bye. She will read for you these verses. There's no instruction for you if you are blind, no instruction if you are lame, no instruction if you are sick, you have instruction in your house to eat, drink, eat, honey, eat, eat. She will give you the dish and you step at you. What would happen to you is like Muhammad. You will die like a rat. So a man, he abuse a woman. What is next? What is next? You see, when a human being, even if he is abuser, let us say you like to abuse, let us say you are mentally ill, but it's so stupid and not smart to abuse a woman, she is the one who put the food for you in the table. Because she can get rid of you the same as she get rid of a rat. As simple as that. So I believe only stupid ones, they would do such a thing. Like now, you know, if I'm married, my wife, she bring me the dish. I will say, thank you, Dalai Lama. I would like the same as, like, you know, like in, in Korea, they put their hands down, like, thank you, thank you, you know, because I would be afraid. Okay, uh, 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 can you just taste the food before me? Yeah, yeah, because I like it. Let me, let me, let me, let me feed you with my hand, okay? And the wife, she would say, oh, no, no, I eat. No, 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 I want to feel, because I want to be sure I'm safe. You eat that you want to abuse a woman. She will make you shish kebab. Did you hear about the guy who was cheating his wife and then she cut his penis? Oh boy. Imagine Andrew Tate, he go to sleep and those 75 women who he abused them, they come together and then, and then Andrew Tate, he have no penis. Imagine only stupid men and the stupid women, they abuse each other. Because you might trigger a point where a human being cannot handle his pain. And then you will pay the price heavily. Remember that all the enemies of Muhammad, they could not kill him. Who killed him? Can somebody tell me? Who killed Muhammad? A woman. Is that true? Muhammad, he killed all the Jews in the Arabian Peninsula. Who killed him? A Jewish woman. And this is a big mistake of the stupid Muhammad. He abused them. He killed their families. He tortured them. He raped them. And then a woman, she made him die like a rat. A hero woman. No, this is not Sophia. This is not Sophia. Sophia, she was coward, actually.
So, you know, when, when some people, they think that they are being smart when they speak about controlling women, abusing women, uh, put them down, never respect them, that is a stupid idea. Regardless if you believe in what you believe, because a woman, she can destroy you. A woman, she can cheat on you. A woman, she can take your bank account. A woman, she can rip you apart. So respect yourself and behave. I'm just giving you an advice. And look, this Muslim, he came and right away he gave a finger to Allah. I mean, I got the most beautiful customers. They are called Muslims from around the world. The second they enter my chat, what they do? They say Allah and they give him a finger. Uh, uh, Samoa TV, I don't know your name. Uh, are you sure that you have no boogers? Because I can show you tons of hadith about boogers. The prophet of boogers. I never saw a religion have books about boogers except Islam. And don't challenge me. I can put them in the screen. And they are fresh. Some of them, they are dry. What's wrong with those people? He just entered here. He put a finger to Allah. Okay. All right. I see a message now. Hello? Yes, hello? Hello? I lost you? Can you hear me now? I hear you now. How are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. So I'm you are okay. an ex-Muslim? Um, do you know what? I've been watching your, um, your videos and okay. it's really good my eyes. It's open my eyes and open my, my ears and what really got me is when I didn't know because I, can you hear me? I hear you, don't worry. Yeah, um, I, I was brought up to be a Muslim but I used to question my parents um, about, my, about the religion and they always said to me that don't ask too much questions because Allah's not going to like it. Okay. So, and when they when they used to say that, and I used to question my child, like, you know, like um, certain things that I I didn't particularly like, you know, um, from from what I've seen, and um, it just it just it, it just kind of opened my eyes because my father was originally um, he was Hindu, and then he had to um, convert to Islam because they were killing a lot of the 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 Hindus. And because my, my father's from um, from East India, um, so they converted to um, uh, he had to convert to Islam, and it, it's never really sat with me. So um, by listening to your videos, I mean, like obviously, I mean, like what I've noticed that you know you you did a you did one with uh, what's his name Mohammed, what's his name Mohammed, uh, uh, the one in YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Um, uh, Mimi Hijab, Mimi Hijab. Yeah, that's it. He, um, he. I didn't like the way he um, disrespected you because, like, you were trying to get your point and all he kept doing is muting you. Uh, but I've noticed that, that a lot of the Muslim ones in the UK, they, lo they love to um, debate um, and not actually listen to the questions or the answers. Mm -hmm. so and he made me just think hold a minute something don't sit with me and like what what the prophet's done and you know and and the women still allow to be treated like that mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah so what is the major reason make you leave islam beside that mimi hijab is a stupid and he is a trashy person is that he like he is the real reason you you know you thought no, he is because I, I never knew that Muhammad actually married a nine years old girl. Six years old. I mean, sorry, six years old. Yeah. yeah and then, you know, then he, you know, actual, you know, but it's disgusting. Why didn't he, why didn't he uh, 
um, adopt her, you know, as a, as a child. Like, you know, he was 50, what, something. And uh, why didn't he just adopt her? Yeah. Well, uh, why he wouldn't adopt her? She have a parents anyway. <laughs> I mean, she's not an orphan. I heard, I heard once a Muslim saying, Muhammad, he married her because she was an orphan, but the, this, this earth he forgot. That Abu Bakr he became a Khalifa after Muhammad he died, her father he became a Caliphate. So how how she is an adopted you know this is stupid, or she is a or orphan, you know Muslim they come with false excuses, uh, but there is way more important things than just uh, uh, marrying a child. Uh, Muslim they can give it excuse as they wish, but you know the Quran is a stupid book full of stupid uh, history, stupid science. <laughs> Uh, a stupid a grammar even the arabic is horrible uh, fiction stories flying carpets uh, uh you know Suleiman, he have a divers who they are genies they dive to get him diamond uh you know Suleiman, uh he have a goat uh, they are wives they call them goat so the quran is a messed up book it's not only reason because he have a wife she is six years old you know this is See, this is misleading. one of many things yeah yeah because and it's also very misleading because it said muhammad had four wives but then if you like cause i tell you something you've opened my eyes so much like even my partner he's christian and like I, he didn't open my eyes you opened my eyes because i watched something from one of these guys who was debating it was an islamic guy and somebody mentioned your name so from there i started watching it and even my partner seen it, and I never knew that Muhammad, dirty Randy man, had had thirteen wives, and and wow, that just wow. When when the first time you saw a video of mine? Okay, so somebody sent a link from some guy in in in, in the UK who's a he converted to Islam. He was an atheist, and then he converted straight to Islam. He was a white guy, he's converted to Islam, mm. and then um, he was debating, I can't remember what his name is now actually, and um, uh, somebody mentioned uh, your name, mm. like, a, and I went to the link, and I thought, interesting. So I started watching it, and I spent a couple of days watching it. I started watching it since Thursday, um, and I've been watching it, and uh, oh, I learned a, a lot. It's just a few days ago. Few days ago, but I spent I spent a long time mm. watching your videos, and I watch it every time I get a chance. I listen to your videos. All right. So, well, I'm happy that yeah, you decide to leave Islam. But uh, do you want? Do you, did you accept? Like, what is your religion now? Do you accept Jesus or what? I accept Jesus. Okay. Is definitely. Yeah, yeah, but you, you mentioned to me something about you have a partner. Yeah, he's Christian. He's Christian. Okay, but you know, as a as a Christian. When you say partner, do you mean a person he lived with you in the house, or just a, a business partner or a boyfriend? No, he's my business partner. He's my boyfriend. Yeah, but as a Christian, you cannot do that. As a Christian, either you marry the man and he marry you, or yeah. you cannot have such a relationship. So we cannot say we become a Christians and instead we are doing and practicing what is not a Christian. You know, because yeah. this is wrong. You know, it's wrong. So. Yeah. If he really, yeah. if he really love you, he will marry you. You know. Yeah. If a man yeah, he marry a woman, he will marry her. He will not just uh, sleep with her. Okay. Yeah. So basically, is that I, I'm, I'm learning about, uh, I'm finding my path. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I'm learning and and like I said, I'm learning from, from you. Um, yeah, I understand. You are new. You know, you just you said you accepted Jesus, but this is the right yeah. way to live our life. You know, because. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, when a man, you know, all men agree to sleep with women, all men, you know, mm. but a real man is the man who marry you, not the man who agree to sleep with you, the one you like, the one you want to be with. Otherwise, all men, yeah. you know, they are ready right away when they see a woman, she is beautiful, they go with her, why not? But a real man who really love you, he will seek mm. you in marriage, not in boyfriend girlfriend boyfriend girlfriend is there's nothing it's just a boyfriend he can take his bag bye bye there's nothing you know it's just a, mm. a a company which is you know far away from christianity so when i say i become a christian i know that i'm coming from different belief and i have some maybe tradition or things which is not right i used to do but either i'm a christian for real or i'm not 
Yeah, I saw so it, it might be from... hard on you. I understand, but there's no middle way. Mm. Okay, but that's good because I'm learning from from you and something that I need to pass on as well. So, yeah, do you read the Bible? Did you start reading the Bible or not, Nadia? No, I'm, like I said, I'm I'm been looking into by just listening to what you right. okay. have been saying. Right. But I, I say that. I, yeah, well, I, I advise change. you to read the Bible in the same time. Uh, mm -hmm. you know what I'm telling you I'm not trying to put you down like in your relationship no, no. I'm just giving you advice mm -hmm. that okay. don't waste your life with men who they accept to be with you but not to marry you okay you know I respect that yeah because yeah. because uh, no and this is uh, if, uh, if we talk about the Bible this is the only way we can do things in the right way but okay. I know I mean okay. that's your life it's your choice uh, but my advice to you that uh, you know, uh, if if a woman or a man, he keep changing women every day, every day, and then what is the what is the what is the end of it? What what's happening? From, like hundred percent. Yeah. 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 Just be careful, yeah. and I advise you to read the Bible. And I'm happy that you decide to leave Islam, but you need to be, uh, you know, firm in your belief and do what your belief says to you. We cannot say I yeah. accept Jesus, but I don't want to follow the teaching of Jesus. Yeah. Otherwise, I did not accept anything. I have to follow in order to be considered accepted. Yes. You no, know, Jesus is not an icon as a picture. We follow the picture. No, he is a teaching. He is the word. He is uh, uh, the wisdom. So whatever he said, either we agree with it or we don't. If we don't, then we are not Christians. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll read the Bible and All right. so I can. More. Well, thank you for calling uh, and uh, I pray for you that you will study more and learn more and uh, yeah. go, be, be you know uh, be happy in your life in the future thank you for your advice All right. and I will take you alright take thank care you. God bless you alright All right. <clears throat> we have a Muslim Let us call him. And remember, you know, that uh, many people, they live, you know, a seeking boyfriend. But boyfriend is a boyfriend. Well, he don't care really for you. That's why he's a boyfriend. If he is serious, he will take you as a wife. He's a boyfriend for a reason. Because simply he don't want any responsibility. He just want to have a company. So the culture of boyfriend and girlfriend never go take you anywhere. No. This guy he texts me, but I cannot find him online. It says he is not online. All right. Well, we are happy for our this lady that she left Islam and uh, look like uh, Mimi Hijab he uh, have an impact on her to leave Islam too which is good uh, you do not know I have a new Skype no we changed the Skype a long time ago and we keep posting how come you didn't see it we keep posting the new Skype and we mentioned that many times All right, look like we are out of customers for today. No more customers. Come on, Rabbi, come on. You know, I don't know. When uh, I, I want to be, uh, like, I want to follow the teaching of a prophet of Allah, in the way and rotate, he do follow it. I think this is the best way. Okay, we are calling Mr. Mehdi. Hello? Yeah, that's mostly Fakira. No, maybe not Fakira. Mute YouTube, please. Hello. Go ahead. I hear you. How are you, Yamashiri? 
What you said? I said Mushrik, how are you? Mushrik, what Mushrik mean? A policy is. is uh, what what does that mean? Explain to me, go ahead. It means you worship multiple gods. And uh -huh. You worship a man. As I know that the one is a Mushrik is the one who associates the name of a person, whoever he is, with the name of God. Is that correct? Associating partners with God, yeah. I don't understand you. Say again. Associating partners with God. Yeah, but don't you Muslim, you say Shahada and you say you associate the name of Allah with the name of Muhammad? And? Isn't it, this is a shirk? No. Okay, I want to ask you, when the first time your prophet here learned about monotheism? My prophet was always a monotheist. I'm asking you, so when? No, not always. No, no, he was. Okay, can you show me a verse in the Quran that says he was always monotheist? No, but Ali ibn Abi Talib said in a Sahih hadith, he never worshipped an idol. Uh, I said the Quran, you said Ali? Is Ali your prophet? Are you a Shia? No, I'm a Sunni. Okay, you are saying Ali, he said. Yeah, in a hadith. Okay, the Quran says, For wajadaka dalan, wajadaka dalan, what does that mean? Uh, my Arabic is limited, you tell me. Yeah, so you are a person, how you understand your religion? Wait, can you say it again in Arabic? Wajadaka dalan, you found you lost. And? Muhammad was lost. Yeah, because he didn't have any religion. So are you saying to me, Muhammad, you said to me, he was always monotheist, and you Muslim, you lie to us, and you say he is Abrahamic, and now you just say it, everybody heard you, he don't have any religion. Everyone heard yeah. you. He didn't have any religion, yeah. Yeah, so he was not Abrahamic. No, I agree, but he was still a monotheist. How he have no religion and he was monotheist? Abraham is before Muhammad. And you must tell you claim that Abraham, he came to, to Mecca, right? Yeah. And you claim even that Muhammad was from the children of Ishmael, correct? Yeah. Okay, how come he is not following Abraham and Ishmael? What do you mean? What do you mean? You told me he have no religion. Those who, follow, no those who follow the teaching of Abraham, they call them Abrahamic. So you said, yeah. yes, he is not Abrahamic. So what was his religion? He had no religion, but he used to worship God alone. In the, okay, you just said the, he had no religion, but he worshiped God. Which God? And how you know? And where you get this from? The Quran says, He found you lost and he guided you. <laughs> Okay, and yeah, you can cough, you can cough, it's okay because this is need big cough. <laughs> yeah, because no, I this, my friend, I have my experience always when I speak to Muslims and they are in a deep hole, they cough, they start coughing. Oh. So, I think you are not just the first one, cough more. So, when the Quran says, You, you know, he found you lost, lost what? When I say to you, you are lost, yeah, when I say to you, yeah, you, no. you were lost, and I guided you. He was lost what, mean in the GBS in the highway. It doesn't mean I'm a polytheist. What are you talking about? Huh? It doesn't mean I'm a polytheist. I don't care. Tell me what he was lost with. He was lost. He lost didn't. me lost. Yeah, no. the, the only the only time God he said to a person, You are lost if he is not worshipping him. Because a, a believer no, he, no. he will never be lost. No, he didn't submit to the teachings of Isa. Well, what Isa? I'm asking you now. Why, why you are mixing with this with that? I'm asking you if the because Quran says, order, my friend, my friend, order, if the Quran says that he was lost, why Allah accusing Muhammad to be lost? Because he wasn't Abrahamic. Because he was not following Abraham. No, he wasn't. He didn't follow any Abrahamic religion. He so what he was follow following? So what he was following? Nothing. He was just worshiping God. How you can worship without knowing who's your God? Just praying to the Creator. That's it. Is there a problem with that? Guys, he prayed to the Creator. Which, which Creator? To the Creator. To the one and only uh, Creator. No, no, no. I'm asking you which Creator. In Islam, there's many Creators. What do you mean? 
You say to me that you Muslims are monotheist, and monotheist mean you believe in one creator. Is that what you are saying? Yeah. Okay, but the Quran says Allah is one of many creators. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? Yes. So how he is the only creator, but he is the best of the creators? Because there's another verse in the Quran which also mentions this, uh, best of creators. But it is uh, categorized in two categories. When Allah says he's the best of creators, creators is in two categories, which is the false God and the one and only true God, which is Allah. When Allah mm -hmm. is the best of creators, which means he's the one and only true God. Very smart answer, genius. But look what happened. If I say I'm the best of the liar, that means I am a liar. So if they are false God, as you said, and he said, I am the best of the false, that means he is the most false. No, I said it's categorized into two no, categories. You, the yeah, false you false. said that. I heard you. You said he is categorizing between real creator and false creator. But Allah is saying, I am the best of the creators. According to you, the creators is the false creators so when allah he says he is the best of the false you, creators you, you, you that means he is the most false one between them he is the top liar i said when it says creators it means two things the true creators and the false uh, the true creator and the uh, false creators that's what i said exactly so there is he said but he said i am the best of the creators this is why you mentioned to me that allah he meant false creator and real creator but when Allah he says, I am the best of those creators, there's no other creators, that's it. Those creators, you are the one saying to me, they are false. Allah saying, I am the best of them. That means he is one of them and he's false too. Other people believe in them. That's why Allah mentions them. What, what do you mean? When you say, I am the best of the liars, that means you are a liar. No, you are the liar, sir. My friend, you don't know what you are trying to escape the embarrassment. You just said that the other creators are false creators. And then how Allah then, he is the best of the false creators. I never said that. What are you talking about? You said about? that. You said to me that when Allah, he said the creator, he meant the creators. He meant the false creators. But the verse in front and, of us says, and the true Allah is the best of, I will add your word, not my word. The, he is the best of the false creators. <sighs> When did I say that, man? When? Do you want to cough? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, don't do too, too much, you know, because, you know, you, you might uh, lose your teeth. So, Allah is the best of the creators. That means he is the best of the liars. And this is contrary to what Muslims, they claim that Allah is the only creator. So, either there is a creator or there is no creator. And when Allah, he used the word best, that means he is one of them. He is not different. If I say I'm the best of the students, that's no, mean no, I am a student no. like them. I'm not the different. Best. He's saying he's the only true God. How he is the only true God, but he is saying I am the best of the gods. Because other people believe in those gods. No, you see, it doesn't matter if they believe yeah. or not. He is the one who is adding the word best, comparing himself to them. So either the Quran have a wrong, stupid Arabic, and Allah do not speak good Arabic. He learned you know, his Arabic in Afghanistan from Taliban, or Allah, he speak good Arabic, and you Muslim, you claim Allah, Quran is amazing. So here, when Allah, he says, he is the best of the creators, he is not condemning the creators, he is actually praising them. He said they are good, but I'm, I'm better. You know, Allah said in the Quran, he will throw the false gods in, into hellfire on the day. He will do what? He will do what? He will throw the, these false gods into hellfire on the day of judgment. Okay, how you can throw someone does not exist? Because the idols and stuff. How you can burn idols? And, and by the way, there's a hadith. But don't don't change topic. Says, don't uh, change topic. I, I'm going no, with you. How you can burn? Topic. How you can burn false gods? There, there, this, there's a hadith which says, uh, if anyone draws something alive, Allah will say to that on the person on the on the day of judgment. If an animal what? Make alive. If you draw something like a living uh, being on the, uh, then Allah will say to you on the day of judgment. Bring that which you have uh, brought alive, so it will become okay, alive. Okay, what, what he will say to you? He will say to you, blow on it, right? Huh? He will ask you to blow in the picture you draw. The blue, I think so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But look how stupid this statement is. So Allah is saying, 
that the one who can blow on a picture and make it a picture here the word sura which means shape and make it yeah. uh, come to life he is god correct he's god he's god you just say to me that the hadith and the hadith in front of you on the screen from ibn abbas it says here i heard the messenger of allah saying everyone painter everyone who make a shape not not the picture a shape of a person or something uh, he will go to hell for, and yeah. when in the day of judgment allah will bring him and he will ask him to blow in it to give her life to make it alive yeah. correct okay so what we understand from this the one who can give a shape a life is god do we agree well uh isa alayhi salam created a bird by thank you very much so now we have two creators we have the oh, one the, the, listen listen your prophet he just made a stupid statement he said that the one who make a shape or a, a picture allah will punish him in the day of judgment and he will say hey do blow do blow and it give it life give it life like the same as i do but you just said that Isa can do that. So now we confirm that there's many creators and you Muslims are false. You claim there's only one creator. Now we discover the second one. He is Jesus. But you do realize Allah says in the Quran. The Christians also made this claim that Jesus is God because he performed those My miracles. My friend, this Allah is not the question. I'm asking you. How many, people, how, many, how many in your religion can be called the creators now? You just added one Jesus. Huh? One. One. What do you mean one? You just said to me, Jesus can do that too. By Allah's permission. Okay, hold on. If Allah gave me permission to do it, that would not change the fact that I'm a creator now. No, because permission also means Allah will be No, first of the... all, there's no proof of this permission because Allah could not prove yeah, even yeah, he yeah, can yeah. do anything. Secondly, I can say no, now, I, hold on. I can say I gave the permission to Jesus. I gave even the permission to Allah. I gave the permission to everybody. This is a statement. Talk is cheap. But here... Even if I give permission, if I give you a license, a license huh, to be a doctor, that not to change the fact that you become a doctor, even though I am the one who issued to you the license. So what do you say to me that Allah give him permission? That's even more stupid because now Allah, he decide to give his ability of a creation to Jesus. So now we have two creators. When, when Jesus, can you go to chapter five, verse 110? Then it will explain what be it means. I, 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 you know, I know what they, they don't speak Arabic, and you are telling me you can explain what means. It says by his Allah permission, but doesn't matter. I just answer. No, you. No, no, if Allah, no, my friend, no, my, no, friend, no, my, no, friend, no, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just to show you how stupid what you just said. Just to show you what how stupid what you said. Isn't it everything happening in this earth according to Islam is by the permission of Allah anyway? Yeah, but wait, when no, no, you no, go to that you. verse... No, no, hold on, hold on. Is it by the permission of Allah? Saying? Hold on, step by step. Is it according to you, Muslims? Everything happened by the permission of Allah? Yeah. Okay. So, as long all of us, we have the permission of Allah, that means Allah, He chose in Jesus only to have a special permission. Do we agree? Yeah, of course. Of course. Wonderful. Of course, but uh, so the permission is to do what? Can you tell me the permission to do what? Okay, Jesus said, "I will blow by the permission of Allah, and it will become a bird by the permission of Allah." So Allah is involved in the creation. No, no. Yes, it's it says there in the no, verse. no, no, no. Hold There's on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, yes, it says, "I." Go, hold, hold on, hold on. What you just said, you said half of the truth. Who is going? Who is the one is going to blow? Jesus. Why he is blowing if Allah is going to give the life? Why is blowing? Because uh, because it, how does it become a bird? It needs to to be blown, right? Okay, that's mean the life which is given to the bird is from the life of Jesus, from the spirit, a spirit, a spirit giving the soul given from Jesus, not from Allah. It's not Allah who blows. Who is the one who blows? Who is the one who blow? Is it Allah or Jesus? You said Jesus. Okay. When I say blow, that's mean it is from inside the chest of Jesus, the soul is coming. Do we agree? The ruh is coming, yeah. Okay. That's mean that Jesus, he can generate souls from inside him. But Jesus said right after that, it becomes... I don't care, my friend. We just now discover, we just discover 
that the soul which is given to the bird is given from inside Jesus. And you agreed. But it cannot become a bird by the, uh, without the permission of Allah. My That's friend, you platform. keep repeating the same thing. doesn't matter now. Allah gave him permission. And now Jesus, he can generate souls. He himself is a soul maker. You just agreed. Without Everybody Allah, heard you. You Allah, said it's coming without from Allah. inside the chest of Jesus. So the soul is not coming from Allah. So who is the one who gave the bird the soul? You said, everybody heard you, Jesus. So now we have Jesus is the creator of that soul. You said, because you have a permission, it doesn't change anything. It's still the manufacturer of that soul is Jesus. So your God, Allah, he have a friendship for his business. So he said, hey, Jesus, I'm going to open a branch with you. From now on, you start creating souls, okay? So I created souls one day, I'm tired. From now on, you start creating birds. But Jesus cannot create whenever he wants. That's Who said so? That's my Who said so? No, it doesn't say so. Here we go, read it. It says, I can, I can, I can, I can. Those are all, I have them. I can make that, I can resurrect people from death. I can make the blind see. I can even create from the mud. I can make a shape, I, I breathe into it. And this is what God does. So what is there for my Jesus Allah. to do? What is My what Allah is left to Jesus cannot do? He can even tell you what is you hiding in your houses. Ah, but uh, in Islam, didn't Muhammad والسلام, split the moon? Okay, you know what? I will shave my 100 foot beard if you can show me a verse says he split the moon. It's also in the hadith. No, this is not in the hadith. This is in yeah. the Quran. Are you are you are you are you uh, are you dipping the Quran now in the in the dump? Why you go to the hadith? Uh, so are you saying to me, hold on, are you saying to me that the hadith, what Muslims, they got miracles about Muhammad from the Quran, never mentioned a miracle? Yeah, there is miracles in the Quran about Muhammad. Okay, hold on. You said to me that the moon split, correct? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I ask you where we can find They said to me in the hadith. So are you saying the Quran did not mention that the one who split the moon is Muhammad? Well, Allah, after mentioning the moon splitting, does say, oh, uh, does say to the prophet to turn away from the pagans who denied this miracle. So basically speaking, it logically speaking, it is saying that the prophet was, was the one who no, performed the miracle. read it carefully. It says, the hour has come near, the translation is wrong, uh, uh, very near, and the moon split. It doesn't even say who is the one who split it. Who, is, who split it this moon? Go to verse 6. It will tell you. Okay, who? Uh, tell me. Uh, put it on the screen. Where, where it says that's Muhammad. Can you read it? Because uh, it's okay. late on the so screen. So turn away from them when the day the carrier called the, the painful business. What the heck does it have to do with the okay. moon? This is about the judgment day. Okay. So, so who is Allah speaking to? He's talking to Muhammad and the Muslims okay. and all of you. So, uh, no, he's, 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 he's talking to uh, Muhammad. Okay, let us say he's talking to Muhammad. So where is where is the verse says that Muhammad he split the moon? Because why would Allah say to the uh, prophet to turn away from okay, the Okay, hold on, my friend. Night? My friend, first of all, first of all, is the moon split? Huh? Huh? He can cough. Is the moon now split? No. No. So that this is a lie because if Allah split the moon, if there is a verse in the Quran says Allah he put it together? No. So what hadith. happened? Hold on. So what happened? Allah he split the moon and then he went to Walmart and he buy a crazy glue and he put it together now fix it. The Quran says Allah split the moon. So the moon should be split until now. But there's no split for the moon. The moon is still there laughing at you. So this is, and you agreed that the moon is not a split. So this is a fabrication. There's an eclipse. There's an eclipse. And the foolish Muhammad, he claimed that this is the moon splitting. But the hadith say the pieces of the two moon went My friend, to the other you just side said of no. the mountain. You just said no. You just said that the moon is not a split. I asked you, is the moon split now? You said no. Correct? But the hadith say it was turned back together though. Okay. Guys, the hadith says it turned back together. Hmm. Why yeah. Allah, he put the moon together back? Because he only split it to make the pagans believe in Muhammad. Did they believe? Did they believe? No. 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 Because nobody saw anything. 
No, because the Quran says we will not give the miracle to the Jews okay, because the people both. Okay, chapter of the chapter of Al Qamar, my friend. Chapter of Al Qamar. Does it yeah. came before the chapter of Al Rad or after? Uh, which one? The which Qamar, chapter? the Qamar, and Al Rad, the thunder. Which come? Oh, I, I... Which come? Which one came before? Which chapter number? Because I don't know. Okay, I'm talking about a chapter 13 in the Quran. Oh, chapter I don't know. 13, verse number 7 and verse number 27, 13, 7, 13, 27. Both of them says that we wish that one, just one miracle from his God. Just one miracle, man. But if we go to the books of, uh, 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 according to Muslims, the revelation order, we will find that the chapter of Arad 13, came long after the chapter of the moon. Mm. Mm. That's me. But There's no miracle happening before. Allah. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. But, no, but who's Allah speaking to in chapter 13? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the, if the Quran the Quran confirm that he don't have a single miracle from his God yet. Where does it say that? Where does it say that? Huh? Where does it say that? The Quran. Where does it say that? My friend, read because it. The it Muslim... says, how come the Quran says that the kuffar they said, how come his God did not yeah, give him a single... Listen, listen, let us read together. How come his God did not give him one, just one single miracle? Allah answers saying, Allah, he deceived as he wished and he got what as he wished. What does it say one single miracle? What does it say that? What it's in front really of you. That? It says, why is not a sign sent down? But by the way, yeah, this one, is one sign. Like the ayah, ayah. In Arabic, it says ayah, one sign. Ayah, not ayat. Ayah. So one sign from his God. Yeah, Just a one. Sign, a sign. So now, sign. Muhammad, no, hold on, hold on. Listen, <laughs> Muhammad now, Muhammad, he, how many chapters he received before he, and, and the, those people, they keep saying to him, just one. Just one, one, you know, one, just one. What? How many chapters hey, he received? Okay, you know, like, the moon spinning occurred while Muhammad was in Mecca with the pagans well, in early happened? Islam. What? So what? after the moon spinning happened while Muhammad was in Mecca with the pagans, correct? In the early days of Islam. Okay, and this one happened where? In Medina when he was like interacting okay. with the Jews. Okay, so, which one, happened, so with, which one happened after, which one happened before? This one. So this, one Allah after. Says, this one happened after. Yeah. So if Muhammad already have a miracle, that is a clear contradiction for the Quran, and that would be stupid because the Quran should say, well, didn't I uh, split the moon for you, you liar? No, he confirmed. He says, okay, okay well, Allah, he guide as you wish, and he must guide as you wish. He did not say to them, well, I did miracle. This is the Jews. This is the Jews. My friend, the pagans. chapter the of Arad. What is the number of the chapter of Arad in the life of Muhammad? I know this was revealed after Qamar. Right? No, no, I know it's after, but how long after? No, I don't know. Because on Muhammad almost dead. This is the chapter 96. 96. Oh. And yet Muhammad, yeah, hold on. And yet Muhammad, he have zero miracle. Let us say zero miracle. This is 96. This is the chapter 96. And the Arab asking him, how come not a single miracle? And look how stupid the verse says, Allah, he deceive as he wish, and he guide as he wish. So Allah, instead of saying to them, no, no, we gave him miracle, many miracle, you are a liar. He said to them, okay, okay, you know what? I deceive as I wish, and I lie as I wish, and I guide as I wish. Allah is Satan. My friend, there's a book written by a classical Islamic scholar where he mentions over 1,200 1, authentic hadiths of the miracles of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa My friend, here we go. One verse in the Quran, burn all the book you are talking about. Because are you are you believing in this scholar or the Quran? No, but the Quran never... This is talking about people after the pagans. What after the pagan? Muhammad now is almost dead, my friend. Muhammad now is in control. He have an army. And you know he is uh, still the, actually in the same chapter it says that twice not only once verse number seven and verse number twenty seven and again he repeat the same thing the disbelievers say why not a sign sent down to him from his Lord he said Allah said to him you are only a warner so Allah confirmed he said okay you are not supposed to make a sign 
It's in the front of you. This is the chapter 13, verse number 7. Allah, he confirmed why he did not give him a sign because you are just a warner. You are not even a prophet. There's, there's another verse in the Quran. No, no, no. Where it says, There's a saying oh, in front of you. There's a saying why he did not give him a wait, sign. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm going to explain. There's another verse in the Quran where, which explains why Allah did not send another sign. It's because Allah says in the Quran, the people before you rejected the signs. Hmm. Well, still, that's mean he never had that's a right. sign. No, it does. It means he does have one. Mark, no, it's me before you. The reason he did not have a sign because he because people they reject and this is false because isn't it the Christian believe in the signs of Jesus? Isn't it even the, the, the one the first Christians who become a Christian? They are Jews. And they believe in Have Jesus, and they believe in Moses, and they believe the in the miracle. Alone. My friend, this is a false, and look what you just said. You just said contradiction. You just said, because former generation did not believe in the signs, former correct? People. For, yeah, former so people. Yeah, former about, people, yeah. Yeah, so it could be they, talking about Okay, so this is the excuse, but you just said to me, Allah, he made a sign, he gave him 1,200 miracles. Yeah. Okay, but you just said to me, the reason he will not give him a sign because the people before they did not believe in them and then you are saying to me that there is a book saying that the prophet he have 1200 miracles so which one is the stupid one the one who says i did not give you miracles because they will not believe anyway or the one says in a book muhammad he have 1200 miracles no it doesn't say I did not give him a miracle when no one does say that. I challenge you to show me the verse says he received a miracle. And as you see, this is a chapter of Arad, chapter number 96 in the old Quran. It is number 13 in the new fabricated Quran. And it says, why not even a single sign from his Lord? Allah, he answered, well, him, it is not so for you. It. It's not for you to give a sign for you are because you are just a warner. What warner mean? Someone who warns the people about hellfire. So he is not a prophet. <laughs> That's what a prophet is. No. Do you know what a prophet okay, is? Okay, hold on. I will go with you. I will go with you. So when Allah, he make an excuse, he did not give him a sign because he's a warner. So what does that mean? Yeah. A, a prophet is someone who uh, speaks, who, that God selected. No, no problem. No problem. I'm, I'm going with you. I'm trying to understand. So when Allah he said, gave the reasoning why he did not give him a sign, he said, you are only a warner. Okay, that's mean a warner should not give a sign. So the one who give a sign, he should be someone else, not a warner. So Muhammad was what? So Muhammad, but can you ask that again? Okay, listen carefully. Focus with me. You can cough. You want to cough now or after? So listen. <laughs> All right, good. You're yeah, doing good. So when, when the disbeliever is saying, why not a sign sent down to him from his Lord? Allah answer, and Allah is smart, as you know. He said, you are only a warner, and every people, there is a guide. Okay, so what Muhammad's job is, is not his job to make a sign. His job is to warn only. So who is the one who can make a sign, a miracle? It's not someone like Muhammad, because he's just a warner. No, no, that's not what it says. No, that's what it says. No, but the, the people before Muhammad, uh, the, the people before the people who asked the miracle, they rejected Muhammad's sign. So Allah said, I will not send My friend, hold on. No, it doesn't say that. It says you are only, they are asking, why not even one sign? What rejected? How they can reject it? And they are asking him for one sign. They are begging him. Please, one, just one. Why your Lord don't give you one? The answer is, well, you are just a warner. It's like saying to somebody, you know, uh, uh, why this guy, he cannot give us a medicine. And then you say to him, well, you are not a doctor. This is not your job. Well, so yeah. It's not the job yeah, of Muhammad. It's not the job. It's not the qualification of Muhammad to give a sign. So now we go back to zero. How come Jesus, he can make the blind see. He can tell you what you hide in your houses. He can create from the mother bird. He is alive right now. He is born of a virgin, which means he is a miracle. Mary herself is a miracle. His life is a miracle. His death is a miracle. His born is a miracle. He can make the blind see. He can heal the leper. He can tell you your, your secrets. And Muhammad, he doesn't have a single one in the Quran. And his God saying to him, you are just a warner. 
was Jesus just a warner too, like Muhammad? Of course, Jesus was just a warner. So why Jesus, he been given all the signs and Muhammad as a warner did not receive any? He did though. That's my point. The, the verse in the front of you, this is a chapter 96. This is the yeah. end of the life of Muhammad. Muhammad is already dying now. I understand. Yeah. So the Quran confirmed that he never had a miracle. But I you know what? I will help you. No. Muhammad, he <laughs> had a miracle. Can I help you with it? Yeah. Did you know Muhammad had miracles with his, uh, when he was a child? Well, that's amazing. Like for example, How come it's not in the Quran? For example, uh, when he milked a cow that couldn't give milk, it started giving milk. There's no when cows he... in the Arabian Peninsula. What cow? Or sorry, uh, how, how do you call it? Uh, lamb or something? I, I don't know how you call that. Uh, okay, listen, listen. So are you saying to me that your God, Allah, he remember every miracle Jesus he did, he put it in the Quran, but Allah, he forgot to mention the miracle of Muhammad when he was a child? No, because the presence of Muhammad itself was the miracle, my friend. What, what, what? The presence of Muhammad itself was the miracle. When he... Uh, it doesn't matter. How up... come Allah remembered the miracle of Moses? How come he remembered the ant speaking to Solomon and Solomon discussing with the ant and he discussed with the hood and he found, the, you know, the flying carpet, all those stupid stories. And now the most important person in history, according to Muslims, Muhammad, Allah never mentioned his miracle in the Quran. It was in the past, though. Does not matter stories. in the past? There is a past and the future for Allah. Like when Allah, He mentioned the miracle of Sulaiman. Is that wasn't wasn't in the past? If it was like if Muhammad was people before them, then yes, of course he would have mentioned. Doesn't matter. Muhammad, Muhammad, isn't it a miracle worse to be discussed? Which one is more important? Sulaiman, he heard an ant talking, or Muhammad is making a miracle. You tell me. But Jesus is like all the prophets are mentioned way more than Muhammad in the Quran. I don't care. I'm asking you, how come the ant is more important than your prophet? What ant? What do you mean no, what ant? The Quran, the Quran, there's a chapter in the Quran. It's called the chapter of the ants. You are telling me what ant? No problem. But okay. I have a question about why the chapter of the ant called the chapter of the ants? But I have a question about Christianity. Hold on, you're trying to escape now. You can cough. So you see here, no, wait, wait. you're saying to me what ant, and here we see a very silly conversation. Allah have all the time and the ink to write his stories, which is not even good for kids, but he don't have time to tell us that Muhammad did miracles. Obviously, those are fabricated miracles. Muslim, they add them 300 years after Muhammad. Al-Bukhari, when Bukhari came to existence, Muhammad was dead. He become dust. And, you know, the, 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 the cats and the dogs ate him. And now Al-Bukhari coming to tell us that Muhammad, he made a miracle. But the Quran says the opposite. So I'm asking you now, which, one, you which one is more wait. important to mention what he did? Wait. Wait, why are you mentioning the hadith, though, if you don't believe in hadith? I don't believe in your book, too. I mention it. Doesn't mean I believe it. I'm, I'm laughing at the Quran. No, so, so if I quote for you the Quran, that's mean I believe in it. I laugh at it. This is a stupid book. Look at this. The guy, Solomon, he's my cousin, by the way. He was walking in the desert. We can't cough. And then he flying in the carpet. And then he heard one of the ants saying to the other ants, hide. Otherwise, every man will crush you. But remember, Suleiman at that point, he was a flying in the flying carpet. So how he will crush them? And then we find that this ant, she have a very sharp vision, which is not true. She can see to a million mile in the sky. And she noticed that this is Suleiman. And then Suleiman in the top of the sky, in his Boeing 777, he heard the ant because the wind carried the ant voice to him. But ants are mute. They did not even talk. They are deaf. And they communicate by chemical and vibration, but let it go. And then Suleiman ordered the flying carpet to land down. And then he said, bring me the ant, he called her. The ant, she came voluntarily. She said, yes, Prophet of Allah, it's me who said that. He said to her, why you said that? Don't you know I am just? He said to her, she said to him, I know you are just, but those ants, if they see the beauty, your beauty, they will be tempted. An ant is being tempted 
by a prophet Solomon? Allah. What do you mean as Allah? This is your stories. Allah. My yeah. friend, Allah. do you want me to show Subhanallah? He's saying Subhanallah, he like it. He's saying Subhanallah. Of course. And instead of saying this is stupid, he is saying praise be to Allah. He like he love it. How the end she would be tempted uh, by Sulaima? Allah Akbar. Okay, so now you you agree that you've been defeated, so you start screaming Subhanallah al Azim. Subhanallah al Azim. Subhanallah al Azim. What's wrong with the story? What's wrong with the story? story? So are you saying to me that ants, they like to sleep with men, and they get tempted by men? They have their own world. Okay, and this is not the question. I'm asking you a very easy question. Are you saying to me? That an ant she will be tempted by a beauty of a man and she will get horny. Can you ask it in a normal way? Can you what? Can you ask it in a normal way instead of saying horny? What not this normal way? Here we go. The story in the front of us it says that she is afraid that they will be tempted by the beauty. Okay, ant. Okay, how the ant will be tempted by Suleiman? You explain to me. What Sulaim is doing? He's wearing a bikini. And what kind of an ant? They get tempted by a man. He's a human. They are ants. Like if Sulaiman was a sexy ant, I would say, I would understand. Is he a sexy ant at that time? No, he was a human. So how the ant would be tempted by the beauty? Are you, are you trying to make uh, fun, fun of the stories in the Quran? My friend, I'm making fun. I mean, you call a Christian prince and you are asking him if he's making fun. Your religion is stupid. Fun, what fun? But, this but, is the most stupid religion but, ever. And look, you cannot answer. So you say, are you making fun? So now oh, you discover oh, I'm making fun? Now, after talking to me all this time, now you discover that I'm making fun. You must be smart. You can cough. So I'm oh, asking you, okay. how in the okay, world wait, you accept wait. and you say to me, this is a true story. Okay, how come you're a prophet? He did not have a flying carpet. He did not hear the end. He stopped down. And why Allah did not mention that in the Quran? Why this is a story in the Quran? But the story of your prophet is speaking to the lizard. Your prophet, even when he decided to do poo-poo, he asked three trees to come so they can put him in shade. I don't know why even he will stay in shade by three trees. I mean, how many hours? Because the shade will not change in two seconds. It have to be a long, long, like all day poo-poo because shade of tree will switch after maybe three hours, four hours. But you don't need shade. And the trees come to him and even he claimed that the, the, the you muslims claim that the trees say shahada i mean the talking trees they say shahada even the hadith says that the prophet there is a stone he when he walk next to it it says assalamu alaikum prophet is that correct yes okay so why come how come those stories are not in the quran but this story of the mrs ant peace be upon her is in the quran go ahead because allah has mentioned in the past Allah is what? Stories of the, Allah is mentioning the past stories of the prophets. No problem. Muhammad, he okay, did yeah. in the past. You said to me, you said to me, Allah, he mentioned what is in the past. But Muhammad is still alive. So if he did a miracle today, well, Muhammad, still he can receive a verse tomorrow about what happened in the past, which is yesterday or last year. But we don't find one one in the Quran saying so. But uh, isn't there like talking snakes and donkeys in the Bible? You are trying to change the topic. Those oh, are not those are not really snake. This is about the serpent. And by the way, as long as you are talking about a snake, is it true that your prophet described Islam as a snake? What does that have to do with anything? Well, I just told you the snake is Satan, and you are saying to me what that have to do with anything? How Islam became a snake? He didn't though. He said it will it will be strange and return again, just like the snake uh, is, returns back to it. It's going home. to be what? Can you say it again? It will be strange and it will return back, just like the way a uh, snake will return to its hole. So your prophet, he didn't even say the word snake. He said serpent. Correct. Same thing. Same thing. Okay. So serpent is the word used in the Bible for Satan. And your God, Muhammad, he described Islam as a serpent. Will go where, you said? In the hole? Did you say hole in the ground? Yeah. Why Islam will go down in a hole in the ground? 
There's another hadith which explains this. No, no, don't. don't. You can, you can go to the second hadith as you wish. Tell me why he want to go, why he described Islam as a serpent will go inside the hole. Because he's giving us an example. That's it. He uses many examples. He could not find example better than saying the eagle come back to its nest. Uh, the the, the uh, you know uh, it's something good. I mean, he described Islam as a serpent, and he described it going inside the hole. Who is down in the earth in the ground? Is that God? Or this is the devil, according to Islam. My friend, you don't have to take it uh, serious. What are you talking about? So are you saying to me we should not take what Muhammad says serious? No, but like you're saying it is Satan and all that. No, he was just giving... <laughs> yeah, you can was giving it's time to cough. You're right. So now, Islam is coming back to its hole. And Muhammad, he chosen the perfect word for Islam. For obviously Islam is satanic and you say to me you don't take it literally so why Muhammad choose whole what he meant by the whole you can cough did I lose him well he hang up okay it's time to cough. <laughs> I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? The prophet, he described his religion as a snake. And you know, the funny is that this religion have answer for everything after coughing. What's wrong with this story? Well, nothing wrong with the story. Except that, obviously, your prophet is a false prophet. Except that every prophet have a wonderful miracle. Except your prophet, he is speaking as a someone, she is a widow. Her husband just died. Oh, you know, Allah did not give me because I'm just a warner. And then he tries to start telling us about miracles of other prophets. But where is yours? Where is yours? How come all of them they have and you have none? Hmm? Obviously, Muhammad is the, is the devil himself and Islam is the religion of Satan. Did we have a good time, guys? Anyway, this person, I don't know, he lost his call. He can call me again. Uh, uh, maybe next time we'll go live. Uh, but I hope he will learn why we laugh at Islam. And I find it very funny when he said, are you laughing? Are you making fun? <laughs> well, don't you agree with me? This is so stupid and silly. This, the, 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 the ants get tempted. Now I know why in the other day an ant, she did bite me. Soon looked like she was kissing me. Horny ant. Subhanallah. Subha I tell him the ant, she got tempted. He says, Subhanallah. Do you see how they refute you? <coughs> Subhanallah. What's wrong with the story? <coughs> uh, what's wrong with the story? Nothing wrong in the story. There's no story in the story. It's just an idiot. Even, even this story is not good for kids. And how the guy is flying with the flying carpet and then the ant, she is afraid he will crush her. He's flying. Someone said, look, this is a smart Muslim. Now he is trying to get me busted. Uh, where is his comment? Okay, hold on. This is a Muslim man. He said, Alexa, Alexa. He said, this is a very touching message, by the way. You just hurt the nerve. Christian Brands, did some Muslim lady broke your heart? And that's why you are so mad at Allah and the Prophet? 
That is not the right thing to do. Well, thank you, my friend. I was waiting for your message. My friend, uh, as a Muslim, I have a more harsh story. It was not one, it was four. In fact, they were 99. In fact, they are 100 because my name is Solomon and I have nine, a 100 wife. I mean, this guy, they cannot answer the stupid religion. Now they want to blame Muslim women. They broke my heart. They left my bed. I mean, what a genius you are. What about you answer what I just said and what I showed you on the screen? And now you are playing your, your, you are blaming your mother that she left me and broke my heart? Trust me, you are not my son. What a stupid religion. Did the Muslim woman broke your heart? Well, Muslim women, Muslim women, even, you know, Muslim women, you marry them, you pay them a contract of nukah, you know, some money, and they go. What break heart? There's no heart in Islam. There's no marriage. There's no love. A person who loves a woman, he marry a woman, not women. We are not the chickens. What heart? Do you even Muslims have heart? If you have a heart, you will marry a, man, a woman and you will stay with her. Not every few years you save some money, you, you exchange your wife for the new brand you want. The older will put it in the garage, the new one we will put it in the front door. Do you even have a heart? You don't. Anyway, I hope you guys you have a good time. Uh, feel free to download the video as long you know, as long you don't we don't uh, keep them for long. Uh, we will try to trim this part where we spoke to this Muslim maybe tomorrow. So, you know, uh, uh, people will laugh at how Muslims they refute us. And I'm sure he is proud about how good he was in his debate. And the Muslim will be proud about him too. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And now I have to go and uh, I have to do consultation with Allah because I decide to open a web camera business like Android Tate and then I will convert to Islam and Taliban will contact me because now we are brothers in the same business, which is the pimp business. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. And we see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud and we prove it every time. Thank you.